This episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you binge on thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere, on your TV, PC, smartphone, or tablet. Support this podcast and get an extended free trial of Hulu Plus when you go to HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. That's HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. This podcast is brought to you by Audible.com, the Internet's leading provider of audiobooks with more than 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, and periodic. For a free audiobook of your choice, go to AudiblePodcast.com slash RT. That's AudiblePodcast.com slash RT. Hey everyone! Hey, welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Now with a hundred percent more Joel and Bernie. Yes. So this Boo. week, Gus, Gavin, <laughs> Joel, Bernie, Gus. Boo. Who's who? Good to see you, Gus. Gus. Who's Double. who? You're Joel. That's all you got to worry about. Awesome. Worry about Joel. See on top of that. We were racing across the country today to make it back for this podcast. Gavin and I started today in Los Angeles, California. Yeah. And then we ended here in Austin, Texas. People I've get so worried about you guys. Uh, we're sitting here, you know, we're getting ready. I'm getting my makeup done. Everyone's like, are, are, are Gavin and Bernie coming? It's like, yeah, they told me they are. You Do mean they, people here in the office? Yeah. Do they know that they're on the podcast? I'm like, yeah. Then they're like, where are they? Like, I don't know. Gavin said he just landed. Is he on his way now? Like, I don't fucking know. I'm not his mom. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he's on his way. I didn't fucking give him a ride. <laughs> but it's good, though, that they're that concerned because if it were, listen, around this office, you have to be that concerned about things. Because Why? Well, because, I mean, a lot of times people, like, write scripts, and then, like, you're in the script, and you don't know you're in the script, and then, like, they email you, and they go, you're ready to shoot that script? You're like, I didn't know I was in the script. And obviously, not enough concern there on the communication, I'm just saying. I know that Not that I have any You're specifically examples. talking about two or three people. I'm just saying. <laughs> you can name them by name if you want to. I mean, all of a sudden, it's like, hey, are you ready to do that thing? And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. That has so happened, I think, all of us. The concern, are you yeah. ready to do that today? It's like, do what? This yeah. Script. So, not enough concern. You think there's concern, but not, not enough, enough, apparently. But you're going the opposite direction. That would be like if you showed up here and you didn't know there was a podcast and that you were going to be on it. You're going the opposite direction. He yeah. says that people are worried that like, the cast is not going to show up. Yeah. And your, your thing is he's, totally... He's still, well, I'm he's still worried. has concern. I'm worried about I'm concerned about everything. Concerned. I gotta say that. I do wish... That's my, that's my concern, is I'm concerned about it all. Joel Heyman was on record as saying he's concerned about everything. I am concerned about everything. I do... There is a thing, though, where the world wants you to be stressed. For yeah. example, today, we, were, we got to the airport pretty late. Uh, you need to be at the airport 45 minutes before if you want to check bags. Supposedly. And I was like, 35 minutes before? And she was like... I, I pulled up with my two bags. I was like... She, she told me I was late. I was like, yeah, well, yeah, I know. Can mm. I check these bags or what? And, I, and she was like, oh, it's late. And she was like putting red tags on it and rushing. I was like, are they going to get to the plane? And she's like, yeah. I was like, well, what's the, what's the problem then? And then she gave me my boarding pass and she was like, run, sir. And I was like, <laughs> you didn't do, well, she didn't do that, no, fly, you fool. You are part of their economic model. And their yeah. economic model, you have to be part of their efficiency model. But I just, I, just, be... I just refused to be stressed out. Like she told me to run. So I very leisurely strolled through security. And I thought, if I make it, I'll make it. What airline did you fly? American. Were you on the same flight with uh, those two guys coming back from Australia? Jordan and Monty? No. Oh, no. Not that Are I they saw. back? Are they in the U.S.? Yeah, they got to the office like 15 minutes before you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's possible. They, they could have been on the, one of the flights from L.A. over to Austin, right? Because they go from L.A., from Australia. The, oh, they flew from Dallas? Oh, oh okay. From Dallas. That's funny because when I was coming out, you know when you leave like the security clean area? Yeah. And there's that big red line that if you cross it, you're not getting back in no matter what. There was a guy waiting there with two kids, and he was asking, because we were like a big group of people walking together, he goes, you guys American? Are you American? Are you American? Goes, it's like, yeah, you're American Airlines? Yeah. And he goes, I go, we just landed on American from uh, Los Angeles. And he goes, not Dallas? And I go, no. And he goes, you sure? And I'm like, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure where I came from. Oh, no, wait, you're right. Yeah, I, I was in Dallas. <laughs> Absolutely. I wasn't in L.A. They had the big Dallas sign on the hills. <laughs> like, I get confused between the two. Some guy did that same thing you today. I was talking about Black Light Retribution. Gavin and I went to the PlayStation 4 launch event in New York. We were there last week. Brag about it. Yeah, it was awesome. You should have come. It was great. <laughs> we had played PlayStation 4 games. But one of the games I was playing was uh, Black Light Retribution, which is a free-to-play shooter, one of the launch titles for PS4. And I was talking about it online, or I retweeted a photo that Zombie Studios put up. And a guy goes, he goes, that game's been on PC for forever. And I go, oh, well, then I guess you're right. I guess I didn't have a good time playing this game. <laughs> I guess I had a shitty time. Let me Thank you for correcting memories. me. <laughs> That's fucking funny. And you know what his response was, Gus? It's You'll a, love this. You're welcome. I'm just trolling. Mm. I'm not an asshole. Cool. No, he's I'm just, just he's being just, an asshole. He's just being an asshole for fun. Yeah. Totally different. But he's not an asshole. No, not at all. He's just being an asshole. 
Did you see, I guess you're talking about planes when we think about this. Did you see the video of that plane crashing in Russia? What? Brutal. Is it recent? Yeah, it happened like two or three days ago. It's brutal. What happened? Did people The plane die? did this. Oh, that's not how you yeah, ride a plane. I mean, Into the runway. Yeah. It's one of those deals where it's what? like you see one frame <laughs> where there's an airplane pointed oh, down and the next frame is that. Yeah, it's like they, they tried to land. What is that, a light? No, that's the fucking fire. That's a that light. used to be a 737. <laughs> Technically, it is a light. <laughs> they, they tried to land and did a go-around. <laughs> then on their second go-around, they just went nose first. They said they, they don't know what happened yet because most of the fuselage is underground. Good. Somebody, some, some Russian lady tweeted, uh, I guess, the, 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 the son of one of the presidents of one of the Eastern Bloc countries was on that plane and died. And she was like tweeting, ha, 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 I'm so happy that that happened. What? Or whatever, yeah. And it was just sort of like, wow. Can get away with a lot more over in Russia than you can't hear. Jesus. Hear. Yeah, brutal. You can totally tweet that here if you wanted to. Re- well, I'm not. It's like a politician. You, you, can yeah. you can tweet it all you want. Our condolences. That would be. That's pretty freaking I'm not, scary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not if true. I was ever in an air disaster, and Gus is a morbid person, he reads air disasters all the time. He loves them. I'm all up on this one. I know. Well, he almost had one this weekend. Me? Yeah. Gus almost did the equivalent of crashing an airplane right into the ground. At Jack's reception. <laughs> What'd you do? Which I saw that. Well, I think the family, we had the reception, and Gus married Jack and I Katie, performed the ceremony. Performed the ceremony. So I think the family went ahead and had an assumption that Gus was a religious. They wanted me to go up and do the blessing before the meal. They came up to Is me. Is that true? Yeah. They and came up to me. Did you do it? No. <laughs> oh, please. Like, like, if I they tried to bless the meal... Everyone would have gotten salmonella. It would have been like the largest outbreak of food poisoning <laughs> in the world. I mean, like two hundred dead at a wedding reception. <laughs> they came. Up I want to point out you did perform a ceremony that's meant to last forever. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, food doesn't last forever. <laughs> Come on, let's be serious. You have you have an eight hour relationship with your food, then you're flushing it. <laughs> they came up to me and they were like, "Yeah, we are not. We're not sure that actually Mr. Sorolla is actually an ordained." And I was just like, "Wow, really? I didn't. Wow, who was I didn't know that." Uh, family members of people. You know, that actually, that actually when, used to be a big deal, Joel. You would hear about a dude who had married a bunch of people and he wasn't allowed to do it, and it, like, invalidated a bunch of marriages. I used to hear about that stuff growing up. Hmm. But that doesn't seem to be... be right, and then, and then the internet that. happened, and then everything's okay. Everything's fine. Well, so, but I, I don't, don't even know be... how, how is that... I mean, it was legal because you had paperwork, or what? It's legal because I signed up on a website. It's legal because you signed up on a website. <laughs> it's on the internet. There you go. You're it's like the Bitcoin. universal. Every now and then, every, oh, every time, matrimony. every time before I perform a ceremony, I always go back and look through the Texas law, and I make sure that I can still legally perform marriages. You in the state did of Texas. a good job. Thank I'm going to say I was he freezing. married them and did a very competent, sober, mostly. I, also, they're from the internet, and your thing is from the internet, so yeah. it totally makes sense. It's a match yeah. made online. Yeah. Mm, that's a good point. Thanks, Netscape Navigator Gold. <laughs> <laughs> but you did a good job. Very competent Thank job. You. So much your- so that they just assume you could bless the food, yeah, which, which I didn't want anymore. I'm to not touch. licensed for that. Your, speaking of doing good jobs, your toast was really spot on. Oh, thanks. I thought during the ceremony. It was, that's a funny thing, too, that also had me concerned, because I wrote this monologue about how Jack is a terrible person. That's what you're supposed to do. Right? Yeah. It's the best man's duty to fry the groom. And so I wrote a speech about how I was going to fry Jack, and I was a little concerned about it. Because it's roast at the same It was fried. essentially a roast. roast. Yeah. yeah. And, like, and I, was, I wasn't sure. And so I took Adam and, and Krista back behind and I read them the speech. <laughs> and they were like, Yeah, you should not say that. <laughs> Whoa. They were like, No last. They're like, You shouldn't, you should cut this oh, and this we got and this. The and I was there. like, Chris, I was like, Chris who? Chris Damaris? Uh, Krista. Oh, Krista. Krista and okay. Adam. And they were, I was like, oh, shit, oh, shit. And I talked to, and like walking in the door, like I felt like the guilty need to tell Jack's mother. I was like, well, I kind of had this speech I'm not sure about. And she was like, Joel, we have family here. We have family here. And I was immediately like, oh, shit. This is like concerning now. Erase the flashlight. So it was concerning. There was a lot of concerns. Yeah. You were there doing probably illegal stuff. I was. Uh, <laughs> well, I, I was totally know. above level, totally so on board. I just got really hammered. Uh, but yeah. it, worked, it worked out, I thought. I've got a filthy mouth. And uh, before the ceremony, when we were all kind of hanging out, it was a really small ceremony. Like 10 people maybe there. Very sweet. I was, I was complaining about the cold. I think I, I turned to you or someone was like, man, it's fucking cold out here. And then <laughs> one of the relatives came up to me like, just wanted to let you know, uh, uh, the grandmother's here. Uh, she's mm. <laughs> yeah, that was another thing in the speech. Yeah, I was like, because, oh, right. like, after my speech, I might have divulged someone's arrest record. 
And they were like, uh, by the way, uh, the grandmother did not was not aware of the arrest record. <sighs> you and I are in big trouble. <sighs> you and I are in big trouble. We're not that a- happens at every wedding, though, where grandparents learn something that they weren't supposed to know. Do you have an arrest record? No. Uh, who I've here, who here has an arrest arrested. record? I not arrested. Have, I don't have an arrest no record. Like booked, mugshot, all that stuff? You, you should have one. You should have one. I should have Why one. Why do you ask? Are you I trying should. to out more people? <laughs> to layer in? I'm just saying. If, this is the right. first podcast gonna... my grandmother's ever watched. Jesus. You've never been arrested. You've never been arrested. Have you ever been arrested? No. Okay. Why, why do you seem surprised? I'm just curious. I mean, it's like a thing that happens. It's like surprise. Like maybe for uh, legally meriting people. <laughs> Shut the hell up. I mean, <laughs> that would be a great charge, though, to get arrested for. It's like, what are you in here for? It's like, well, marrying Texas people. Texas is so legally. lax with common law marriage anyway. All you have to do is declare yourself a married couple in public. If both of you do it in front of other people, then you're married. What? I yeah. like that. What do you mean? It's called common law marriage. So if I say I'm married to you right now and you say you're married to me, we're married. No, yeah, no because legal. we're the same and, sex. If you did that with a girl, then yeah. And divorces should be equally as easy. I'm just saying. <laughs> no. Like if we're, I believe in free market economies, and I'm just saying it should just be open and free. I'm on my, I'm on my own here. What are you saying? That just people, everyone should be married? If no, they, I think everyone should own a Bitcoin. I think that's what he's saying. <laughs> Everyone should own Bitcoin. Let me ask you this Freedom. question. If it comes out that this, what is it, the thing you have? You know, what, I'm ordained? Yeah, you're ordained as what? A minister? In the Universal Life Church or yeah. something? If that comes out like, oops, that's completely not real. Every marriage ever performed under this thing, it's a joke. It's in the user agreement. You can read it really yeah. small, like, this is for novelty purposes only. How would you feel? I don't care. And all, <laughs> all the marriages <laughs> not, not your that fault. you've... Does it, not my fault. Really? I thought it was real. Everyone else thought it was real. They thought it was legit. Yeah. Well, it doesn't affect my marriage. <laughs> did they go to the? Did they go to city hall and like fill out the? Who married you? Marriage license and all that. The JP. Uh, yeah, I gotta sign those. See, that's you, a good, that's a paperwork. Good, that's a good sign. He went to a JP. Who's, <laughs> who's JP? Who's this JP? Justice of the Peace. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> JP Morgan. Is that part of your? Cult? <laughs> <laughs> I had to open a checking account. Did you need a bank? Wow. <laughs> you got a toaster and a really wine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a credit card with airline miles. Can you perform your own ceremony? I don't think so. No. Like you just stand here and then you yeah. stand here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's allowed. Did you ever hear about the dude in Antarctica who was the medical guy on staff in Antarctica and he got appendicitis? Oh, and had to do it on he himself? He performed his own with a mirror. appendectomy. Yeah. He was Russian, I believe. Well, yeah, he's in a big hurry. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, hey, Barbara. <laughs> ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. She's off screen right now. I stole one of her jokes. Yeah, no, he and he didn't want to give himself any anesthesia because he didn't want to dull his senses. So this dude gave himself an appendectomy. There's pictures of it. Somebody else held a mirror and he's like this. There's a black and white picture of it, like mid-operation. Oh my god! So there were other people with him. He just didn't want them. He didn't want to walk them through it. No. Okay. Would you let me? If you knew, if you knew how, would you let me cut your appendix out? God, that is a good question. Let's let's take it back a step. If (laughs) that's like, would you let him drive your truck? Yeah, sure. I don't care. He's already driven my truck. Okay. He drove that's more responsibility than we made. Thought. I drove at six feet. But I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Like, I, I give people my keys in my truck, and they come back, and they said they're all upset because they dented it. I just, I don't care. I wouldn't be upset. Yeah, I don't care about that. But no, the big thing is, Gus, would you accept an organ from somebody that worked at the office, like a kidney or a liver? Liver? Let's say liver. Probably Let's say kidney. not. Uh, well, <laughs> kidney, maybe. We have a lot of young people now, so yeah, sure. You would? We have a lot yeah. of young people having Where do you draw the it. line? Would you take one from me? Um, I don't know. He <laughs> cares laughing. laughing <laughs> the the way, kidneys aren't as fresh. I'm young, thinking like a Blaine kidney. Young people Oh, you have... want youth. You yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, want a, I want a kidney that's got years ahead of it. You don't want a kidney I don't that want a kidney that's, like a raisin. I don't, yeah, <laughs> I don't want a kidney that got tackled at a Red River rivalry game. <laughs> <laughs> they got softened up by security. <laughs> one, of the, one of the youngest livers has to be Ben's liver. And that's probably in the worst shape of all of us. God. Yeah, I can't imagine. No, I'll, I'll take a blade. Blaine, I'll take your kidney. No, but then, then would th- th- this question is a good one. You have, you're in the wilderness, we're on a camping trip. It's the four of us. It's very clear you have appendicitis. And so, one of us has to take out your appendix. I'll Who do you choose? I'll do it. I have a steady hand. You've seen me play video games. <sighs> <laughs> That's a really difficult one. And there's no hope of getting to a hospital. Like, I'll die if one of you doesn't do it. Somebody's got to do it. So one death, well, you're death the one is a viable option. the then. most medical background. You choose death. <laughs> well, right? let, me, let, me, let me ask you a, a job at okay. high school as a so phlebotomist. If, if, I, 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 before phlebot- I get my appendectomy, I'm going to ask one screening question to everyone. Where's the appendix? Right here. Boop. Where's the wrong. appendix? <laughs> it's already wrong. It's here. Right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you can do it. <laughs> no, he did the right way, too. He did it's the right way. Right yeah, I was curious to see if he was going to get it. <laughs> uh, what if you're left-handed? Does it go the other way? <laughs> <laughs> 
don't, I don't <laughs> think what does the Phoenix do? Uh, like, like grass or something, doesn't it? If you eat grass. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no. Doesn't it, it get big if you eat grass? Like from no. when we were cows or something? <laughs> if you no. eat grass. From when we, we were cows? Did you people? say when we, from when we were I know, cows? I know that. Like, <laughs> 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 Humans had an all grass diet. It's left over when we had four stomachs. Uh, um, isn't it to do with like eating herbs and sh- stuff, herbs. Or, like leaves? Le- uh, <laughs> yeah, it's part of the digestive tract. I think it's optional. It, like you can cut it not, off. Not not used anymore, anymore, right? Yeah. The the theory was that uh, maybe that it used to digest maybe pieces of bone or something like that back when we were. Yeah, I, I definitely. If there was a service, I've talked about this before. If there was a service that just got rid of all the crap that all, could go wrong, like all wisdom teeth. Appendix, uh-huh. tonsils, you would do that? adenoids, like all the But then crap. you wouldn't have a personality. No, I'd still have my brain. <laughs> do you think within your lifetime we'll achieve a point where through genetic engineering you can genetically engineer fetuses to the point where they will be born without wisdom teeth, without yes. appendix, without Yo, any yeah. of this? Because there are already mutations where some people don't get wisdom teeth. And you think we'll so figure that out and be able to, to artificially create that within the next 50 years? Yeah, you just get a bunch of those people to keep banging all the time. It's like seven well, generations, then you extract they un- that. When they've unlocked the genome, right, we, we can just find the switch, right? Okay. Turn it on and off. What about this is a situation? You lose both testicles. Okay. And then that stops you from having all the testosterone and stuff, and you basically, you're just castrated at that point. Okay. But you can have one of my nuts. And that would restore, like, you'll get all the hormones that you usually get, but the sperm will be mine. Would you do it? That's a very interesting. That's a. That's weird a very question. convoluted. I was with them right up until the sperm part. Uh, question. Like, if he has the function of a testicle. No, no, no. In terms I mean, of if what you have an organ. Well, I, I, honestly, I don't care. I'm not going to have kids. So what does it matter to me? You might. The by main accident. thing I've learned is that Gavin don't, don't doesn't out understand how first. sperm is produced. <laughs> <laughs> he does not. He does not understand how sperm yeah. is produced. Wait, you what? You're born with a full, like your full tank of sperm, and you just like deplete it over life. No, because we're not like we're not like a woman. Right. Good job, Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> Our testicles are not like a woman's testicles. Wait, so wait, where does the sperm come from then? It's produced. They they produce it in the in the ball, in the ball. Yeah. <laughs> so it would after the first like couple what? goes, it wouldn't be any of your stuff left. Wait, why? It's like if you sold me a car. No, why? why? After the well, first week, you know, we could get back to it. We could get back to it. We could get back to an interesting question, right? It wouldn't be my one gas. person. You need a ball. You have to pick somebody, but then you immediately have to have sex, and it's the other person's. <laughs> <laughs> leftovers. <laughs> Who do you pick? <laughs> what does a kid look no like? No one? I'd, I'd rather go ballless than raise one of you assholes, kids. So, wait, wait. Okay, so. No, you have to pick a ball, Gus. You have to pick a ball. Help me understand the sperm thing. Go ahead. The sperm, the actual physical little swimmers, it, it created in my ball. Right. But they're filled with my info. Yeah, right. So, if it was in Gus's body, they would fill the sperm with his info. Right. They would have well, Gus's but no, but CV. where does it come from, though? What does what come from? The the genetic material the, in the sperm. It pr- he, he's confused. If it doesn't come from the ball, where does it come from? It produces. I I studied this in college. I'm my memory's sure a little rough, my... but it's produced and it basically takes normal genetic code and the pairs and it splits them, and so that you end up with, uh, like a, a gamete has like half your genetic code basically. It's not full your full genetic code because it pairs with somebody else's half genetic code. That would be the girl. That's a different conversation. You're talking about a baby now. No, no, no. What do you mean? What are we talking about? What do you think a sperm, sperm is are? half a baby. What do you think yeah. sperm are? You going to work with them? I'm so <laughs> <laughs> That's how you start a business. They, you, they, they get you in the carpool lane to get, to, to get through traffic. <laughs> <laughs> no, the officer, best. I'm carrying like a th- millions of people here. One of the best questions I ever read online was, theoretic, like theoretical, hypothetical questions, I should say, was would you, instead of having like when you ejaculate, you have a million tiny sperms, if you had one giant <laughs> one and then you had to fight it... <laughs> <laughs> Would you masturbate as much? <laughs> like, how does it fight? Does it like whip you with its tail? I don't tail? know. I don't know. So I wait, wait. Oh, oh, like I mean, or is that better than critters. having to pay for? <laughs> but it would only be I as mean, big as a streak of jizz, right? It wouldn't be like. It would just be like this well, big. The way I mean, they described like, it, it sounded that, basketball. I mean, is that, a, is that a be- better scenario to have to fight it than to send it to college? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'm just, just draw a face on it and start walking it around and bring it to if school. If you didn't so. fight it, what if it grew to the size of basketball over a week? Like in your house. <laughs> and then you're like, oh, I didn't take care of this one. Now I gotta, I gotta fight the big or one. Or like if you lose it, like when it first comes out, it's the size of a marble and it hides. Yeah. And it like rolls <laughs> under your couch. You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> that thing's gonna come after me later. In the night. <laughs> 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 It'll kill God. the neighbor's cat. It'll shed its tail and it's got two legs. 
God, you've just created like the worst horror movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's like the face hugger scene in uh, Aliens when they're trapped in the. Uh, I'm just gonna go back. In the lab with it. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna go back and say no. Okay. That's my answer to that yeah. question. Universally, no. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna say universally. Colossal no. no on that one. Yeah, no, no orgasm is worth having to fight some sort of mysterious thing that has come out of your body <laughs> that is waiting for you to fall asleep so it can choke you out later. <laughs> or if you were somebody else, you had to like team up to fight it. You know, <laughs> that would be. Why would you, you be jacking up with someone else? <laughs> <laughs> what are you having sex? Oh, I, th I thought it was only during jacking off. I'm the idiot because I misunderstood the question. <laughs> <laughs> Gus, don't get me started. That was your misunderstanding. Why well, would somebody else be around when sperm comes out? <laughs> you said it comes out when you jack off, <laughs> not when you have sex. Oh, those two totally different things. So the woman would be bloody annoyed if you did that, you know, wouldn't she? She would be pretty She'd be like, pull, pull, God damn it. They're, and then she's facials be... would involve black eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what happened? He came on my face. <laughs> They're going to be annoyed anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, God, you no, make them annoyed. They're going to be annoyed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned that. So, I forget where I read I that. I don't even... I think I read that, too. I think it was uh, one of those stupid things I read. It's like the, the equivalent of the, would you rather fight, fight 100 duck-sized horses or, or one horse-sized duck? Right. I think it was in, in the same... Same line of that. I guess I'd like to give credit to the person who made that really funny joke the first time, but I can't. So, oh, well. yeah. Speaking of Reddit, God. over the weekend, I saw that someone got to the front page of Reddit by posting a picture of an Xbox just like that one that's behind me. The one, the, X, the original Xbox that's signed by Bill Gates. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and I was like, those motherfuckers. Yeah, there's like, they, they made the post like, only 50 of these were made. And like, oh, look at this. I'm like, motherfucker, we have this every fucking week. You can see it. It's right there. Maybe we should give it its own show. We should. Just like put it on the podcast, probably. You know what came up? Are you uh, still mad at Barbara for reposting the picture of the boxes? And her picture no. of that goes everywhere in the world? No. Right? Whoa. That's what? crazy what? what just happened. What? Picture of so boxes? So, Gus, there were some LaCie hard drives, which is the LaCie is the brand of external hard drive we use to back everything up here, those metal ones. And you can probably find the picture in the line. Look up boxes plotting. Yeah. We'll look it up. You can find oh, it. yeah, yeah. But yeah, boxes, that was your joke. The, you said that joke years ago. I remember the that. The boxes, when they were open, they look like they're planning something. Like the, the two <coughs> things are up like this and the lid is like this. Gus made that joke in 2007. Barbara, he did. Barbara, get up there. Don't deny it. She's you I'm not mad about it, but don't fucking deny it. Give me credit. She's going to say that it didn't have hands Steal the first her. time. I'm the one who pointed it out to her. She retook, she retook the photo because of me. Yeah, I got the I got the image here. But when Barbara posted it, it went boxes. everywhere. Like it was on like, CBS and everything. Oh, it was on CBS. Well, that's life, right? Are you gonna sing there, a song? No, she's testing. Sing a song. So I got the image. Oh, there it is. Here. Barbara, a sing a song. It. There it is. <laughs> it's really funny though. <laughs> yeah, I remember. And you can tell this is in what was Gus's office at the time, but it's the tech office you, you, where the you, Adams now live. You had that box, that exact same box. Downtown Austin. Yeah, that's where yeah. I took the original photo with that's the one. Right. Can we show the boxes? We haven't shown them yet. We're cutting to me drinking beer instead of showing the boxes. I don't know. Which maybe, ones? Maybe, maybe they're not able to show it. Oh, okay, let's. Oh, oh there, there we go. Are. So that's Barbara's photo. Because her. Vi well, I'll let you explain it. It's weird right. seeing stuff. Because that was all over Facebook as well. Like my friends from England were posting that picture. I was like, it was taken in my office. 2007 of that same box, but it was just the eye part of the box. It's just like the top part where it looked like a face. I took two of the boxes and folded the arms and so it looked like they were plotting and then took a picture of it and said, man, these boxes are definitely plotting something. She made it her own, guys. So it's completely different. <laughs> oh, but I gave you the idea. I said, no, I, said I said, look, it looks like they have a face because I said I took that picture that one time. You're like, oh, yeah. And then you took a picture. Yeah, At least give me credit. Yeah, stole it and then put it all over Reddit and now it's on like Fucking some... Dodging the question. <laughs> you, no. You always accuse other people of dodging the question. And that is how RTX started. Yes, thank you, Barbara. Those for box. Well. Thanks for nothing. No problem. <laughs> Pack up your shit in those boxes and get I think the fuck out. Any, I think anyone that go, I think I think anyone that goes to that mic has to be has to sing a song. No. No. I think <laughs> you should sing a song, Joel. All right, sing a song. You're on a mic. Go ahead. Happy I was good. Birthday to you. That's the only song I know. That's the only <laughs> song you know. Sing, sing a Jew song. What's the? <laughs> sing the Canadian national anthem. Do you know the Canadian anthem? Of course. Do I know the Canadian national? Of course Please I sing. do. I'm not going to sing it. Oh, maple leaf. Because then you guys all have to stand up and put your hand on your heart. Well, I'm not Canadian, so I'm do not we have to no, stand, I'll, I'll stand, the same thing? I'll stand Listen, up and put my hand on my heart if you sing the Canadian we national anthem. We do not stand up to anthems that Canadian like smoke anthem. crack. Oh, you know, that's uh, awful. I, you know when you go to oh, a, a, a I was trying sporting. to segue. Yeah. I was trying to segue. All right, thanks. It's a, it's a great segue, because how can we not talk about the mayor of Toronto? You know, my first thought was, and I tweeted this, you know, somebody was posting the Toronto mayor stuff, and my, my tweet I responded was, I miss Chris Farley. 
<laughs> and I started that. I'm taking credit for that. And then, like, the Chris Farley videos just started. It's someone I read was, what's the name of the, the Toronto mayor? Rob Ford. Rob Ford. The, the, the best comment I've read on it so far was also on Twitter. And someone said, the weirdest thing about this ongoing Rob Ford debacle <laughs> is, how has Sasha Baron Cohen kept the costume on for so long? I love that every picture of him is terrible God, also, by the way. He looks like a boomer. He looks like an alien wearing He looks like a boomer. You <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> He's gonna explode so, any second. Toronto's that, mayor. That girl's gonna have zombies all over her in about five er, seconds. Earlier this year, there was supposedly a video of the Toronto mayor smoking crack, which he said did not exist, was a lie. It disappeared for a few months. Then all of a sudden, that video was stolen, and now it's out there. I'm listen. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be the contrarian in this. I like him. I like Mayor Ford. Why? Because he's the first mayor to just. Smoke crack and then admit to it. Did you no. live in DC? Because all the, the other mayors, Barry thing? Marion Barry, Marion Barry smoked crack. He did. Had FBI videotape him, went to jail, came back from jail, reelected to mayor. Reelected to mayor. So Only in America. How are you mean, saying that Rob Ford is the first person to admit it then? Because Marion well, Barry second. said he's he was person. set up. Oh. He said he had never done it before. That's true. And and he's just he's just like yeah you know I'm partying. Come on, I'm the mayor. That's what mayors do. Well, he said, and, and then he said honest. that he did not lie previously. When people asked him, people had reporters had asked him, "Do you smoke crack?" He said no, and he said he was telling the truth because at the time he wasn't smoking crack, but he had smoked crack in the past. If they had asked him, "Did you ever smoke crack?" He would have said, "Yeah, of course." <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's the most bullshit semantic answer ever. Like, are you, how, mayor, are you smoking crack right now? No. What about yesterday? Oh yeah. How much does he get? He gets paid probably a good amount of money, right? I don't know. It's Toronto. Who he's, knows? He's got it. Like, what? Like, why? I mean, I don't even smoke crack, but I drink a lot of beer. But I can be mayor. You I mean, be mayor. I don't have, I mean, I, I can be mayor. The, the thing drink, so has, less there been, money. Has, has Toronto had any problems since he's been mayor? Like, even though he smokes crack and is an alcoholic, is he doing a bad job? Because if he's doing a fine job, no, he's going to break matter. laws as an elected official. You can't. You can't get caught. Come on. We got caught. They yeah. all break the laws. He was right? like a set example to the kids. Does yeah. he? Well, it's 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 funny though because he does have this history of like getting kicked out of hockey games and just getting belligerent and blah 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 yeah. and it's just sort of like, how does he do it? He practically tackled some councilwoman earlier today. I didn't have time to send the video over, but someone was yelling at him. He fucking bum rushed this woman and knocked her over. Did you see that video of like him and then they cut to Chris Farley and it's like all the same shtick? No, I don't see that. <laughs> what from Tommy Boy and stuff? No, they literally take footage from Chris Farley doing a different deal. Like, Chris Farley went to the Chicago Bears game and was, like, on the field, oh, acting like, you know, Joker guy and falling over, and then they do a hard cut to the mayor, and he's on a football field, except for being real, and he falls over. It's oh, amazing. He, oh. Didn't Chris Farley once turn up to an award ceremony with, like, coke around his nose, and he was just like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, they called him out on the red carpet. He goes, "Oh, mother powder donut, what up my nose?" <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was off the rails at the end. <laughs> Another powder donut, what up I, my nose? I, I think Oops. we have the video of the mayor running oh, over the councilwoman. I don't know if we can uh, if we can pull that up. This is this uh, is when a boomer spots you. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> boomer. Boomer! <laughs> how, how has someone not made oh. that video? And then he goes over and explodes. Right? <laughs> how have you not made that video? Why did you do that? Someone was yelling at him off camera. They're like calling him, sh calling him names and shit, and he got all mad. So he, so he got mad at that woman. Yeah, I think she tried to stop him, and then she just got in the way. The trick is you let him run past. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there you go. You have all the elements you need for a successful internet video yeah. right there. I definitely hear a boomer. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need. You got the sound bite, the sound effect, and the video. L let Put me let me, let me read this thing right here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> I want to remind everyone this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast is brought to you by Audible.com, the internet's leading provider of audiobooks with more than 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature and featuring audio versions of many New York Times bestsellers. For our listeners, Audible is offering a free audiobook for your choice to try. Hey, thank you. Uh, to give you a chance to try out their service, one audiobook to consider is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, although I'm the beer thief right now. Uh, for a free audiobook of your choice, go to audiblepodcast.com slash RT. That's audiblepodcast.com slash RT. Um, love Audible. I listen to it all the time, driving around in my car. Fantastic service. I'm about halfway through book five of A Song of Ice and Fire currently. Are you really? Yeah. Almost there. God, uh, <coughs> we can't talk about it, though. No, can't talk about it. I have a um, shut up. Okay. So you're talking about the Chris Farley bit on the football field. Did you see the video of the guy... 
falling out of the football bleachers from this weekend? No. Yeah. That's God, how can you guys see so much video that I haven't seen? That's well, crazy. They full off You're on a plane today. I guess so. He he was on like the upper balcony, and you know those balconies have like railings. He like sat on the railing to slide down on the oh. outer Ex- exterior edge. Except he was really drunk, so he fell backwards off of it. Did Wait, you look up here. to the left? No. Yeah, there it is. Oh. 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 What? So he is sliding down. And not anymore. Oh no. And sorry. He oh. survived. He only had minor injuries. Did he land on somebody? Minor. But injuries. he landed on someone. Who is seriously injured and has oh. like head head I'd injuries? Be... Oh, Jeez. oh, what a fucking asshole! So at first they say Jeez. the people in the area say that he got up and tried to act like nothing happened and tried to walk away, but the other guy was obviously like that he fell on was obviously laid out and seriously hurt. Oh, that's, uh, shit, that's awful. I don't know, man. That's fucked up. Oh. I, I feel I, mean, I don't know what to say because oh, I that's feel the like guy. Uh, it's awful. I feel like this is becoming more and more like common because I feel like. I can't go six months without watching somebody fall out of the stands at some major sporting event, which I feel like that never happened before. I feel like that never happened. You heard about it like once, what, five years ago at the Rangers game. You know where and it's now always it happens a big all problem? The time. It happens all you know the what's time. a big problem? It's a big problem every time they open a new stadium because people always go to the new stadium and take photos, and they take photos like in the upper decks, like with their backs against the railings, mm. and then fall over backwards. Like every time there's a new stadium opening, it seems like somebody's taking a picture and walks backwards and flips over the railing. And it seems to me like the worst thing in the world would be to fall on stadium seats. Oh, yeah. That is not yeah. a pleasant well, You saw landing. that video of the yeah. dude getting shoved and he goes over like seven rows. Yeah. And that looks like the most painful thing in the world. It always seems like the worst fights happen when you're off level with each other too. Like somebody always yeah. gets just kicked straight in the face. We can probably only have a, f- a few more of those before they just start banning booze from sporting events. No, they'll never ban booze. They make too Why? much money on that. What they'll do is they'll just put a fucking cager on the whole thing. Uh Fair play. You act like an animal, get fucking treated like one. <laughs> what a fucking dummy that guy was. Yeah, I can't, I can't, do that. I can't, I can't wait. I can't wait till he sues the stadium now for it. Yeah, for providing a railing that was unsafe. When right. you're at a sporting event and they do the national anthem and all that stuff. Yeah. And everyone stands up and does the hand on the chest and stuff. Do they do the same thing in the hand UK? The no. They I play mean, God Save the Queen before. Is uh, that what they for play? international football games, they'll do that. Okay. But not for just regular Premier League. But am I meant to do that, out of, or am I not? Because I'm not American. What First is, of all, well, you well, don't well, have to do it. Obama, when he was running for president, didn't do it. He didn't hold his hand over his heart for something. I forget what it was. I think it was the pledge Was or it the pledge? Yeah, I want to say that's what it was. Yeah, and it was a big fervor that he didn't do it. I'm F- not F- sure whether it's... But it's not actually, like, required okay. etiquette. Because I'm, when I'm there, I'm never sure whether I'm being insulting by doing it because I'm not an American or whether I'm... If I didn't, I'd be insulting for not doing it. I don't know. I don't think it matters. I don't, I don't think I've ever done it, actually. I just stand oh. up and so... I think the proper etiquette is if you have a hat, you take off your hat. Yeah. If you don't have a hat, you put your hand over your heart and then you go... <laughs> like everybody else does. Just like fake sing. <laughs> I'll tell you, I mean, there's a thing that they do, like the Dallas Stars, the name of the team is the Stars. Mm-hmm. And during the national anthem, when the word stars comes up in the national anthem, everyone in the arena goes, stars! That's blasphemy. And it's, you know, it's what they do. But I'll tell you what is blasphemy, or what will be treated like blasphemy. Like the rockets. Is if you're rockets. a little bit drunk, and then shout out stars at the wrong oh, time in no. the national anthem, <laughs> which I can tell you, don't do that. <laughs> Have you done that? I've done that. <laughs> oh. Very embarrassing. I thought you were going to say you yelled out farts or something. Very embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's stars. Hitler. Long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would not go Russia. over well. Russia. That would not go over well. Um, yeah. I, listen, I'm always a b- firm believer of if you're in a stadium, just go with the flow. Gavin, stand up. Put your hand over your heart. It's not worth the hassle of... Yeah. yeah, shitting on everybody else's like, time. No, 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 I'm British. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I'm the country that you guys fought <laughs> for this song. <laughs> I'm, I'm the bad totally guy cool. in this song. I cannot. <laughs> yeah, it's totally cool. The Rocket's Red Glare? That was me. <laughs> like, I remember one time I went to a Super Bowl party with a girl. You know her, actually. Uh, and it was San Francisco versus somebody. And the, the Super Bowl party was in San Francisco. I think it might have been Denver. And, uh... Everyone there, of course, is for San Francisco. She didn't care at all. Like, she had no care. So who did she root for? Denver. Denver. She's the person who's like, oh, I don't care, so I'll just root for Denver. I, it's, it's like, yeah. we don't were, ever do that. Don't ever be that person at a we party. We were talking about this at lunch, actually, where sometimes you'll go out with a girl. I actually talked about this. I don't know why. You go out with a girl, and the girl's like, she's going to fight everyone. She's going to be the one, the contrarian, and she's going to fight everyone. But then you're with her, so that's like, well, I guess I'm getting into a fight. <laughs> you there know are what I mean? Two, it's just sort of like... One of two things will happen. There's only two scenarios that can happen there. A, the home team 
wins and everybody just rails on you and yeah. you're a big fucking loser or the home team loses and you get to fight. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens. Yeah, I've been yeah. In, in those uh, situations at games like that where someone shows up, like I said, not caring and cheering for the wrong, or the other team just to be uh, contrary. Yeah. Just and have balance, I guess? Or don't. I don't Nobody know. Nobody wants J- balance. Just for the attention, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. Nobody they, wants they, that. They want to fight. They want to see you get your ass kicked. <laughs> That's what they want. They're like, I can't wait to watch my boyfriend or whatever get yep. his ass kicked. Yep. So... That's how it works. That's relationship equality. <laughs> relationship advice from Joel That's Hayden. a real thing. Have you ever dated a girl like that? No, who just I, like I never, starts fights for you? I never want a relationship where my manliness is tested. Yeah. It's good call. Yeah, you, you don't want to fail that test. <laughs> good call. Let's be honest. We all have our doubts about you, Gav. If someone, if a girlfriend tried to start a fight with a bigger dude and I'm expected, or you, just, you just wouldn't return her calls. <laughs> be, uh, yeah, I'd leave. A bigger dude would be okay. Th- girls don't, th- that, this kind of girl. We'll go to the extreme of like, you'll walk past a group of five guys and she'll go, the fuck you looking at assholes? And like, well, I'm going to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here we go. So the then thing, you like move her to the outside and just like start taking punches. The thing I'd be more worried about in a, in a fight would be hurting someone and then getting arrested for it. I, what? Just, we might have a video that's a combination of everything we talked about. A yeah, fight a on different these. levels. Multi- oh, different look, it's the worst fight. It's Denver fans. Somebody's getting oh, kicked in the USC? face. Oh, this woman is... Taking up an issue with this gentleman. She, oh my she looks goodness. like she's trying to hold that guy back. Or well, they she... were holding her back for a little while, oh. so who knows? Yeah, They're taking a... turns holding each other back. There was a video out, yeah, this week, oh, actually. Oh, oh, oh there we go. it's kicking off. Again, higher ground wins <laughs> battles. Do <laughs> people not know this? Someone threw a pizza box or something. Oh, oh she's oh, in yeah. there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Th- See, now it's the what you're, what swimming. you're watching right <laughs> now, <laughs> what, you're, what you're watching is Macbeth. This is the the, the plot of Macbeth. <laughs> out, out, damn spot. Uh, <laughs> That's what's happening there. It's a it's a, it's a lesson in battle techniques. Always have the higher ground. You will win. Yeah, it is true, especially when there's like uneven ground and like stadium seats. Yeah, the yes. best is when somebody tries to climb over stadium seats and you realize how difficult that is. Oh, that you is... can't do that without telegraphing what you're about to do. That person always gets kicked in the throat. Especially because in, in situations like this, alcohol is typically ten. involved, so it makes it even more difficult. Yeah. So they're uh, they're not gonna make it. And in those two, it's like when the girlfriend throw, goes into the mix too. That's always that doesn't help anybody ever. Because either some dude is getting get wailed on by a girl, and girls hit way worse than dudes. Like they go in with claws and at pulling a, hair. At like, a Patriots game the other day, didn't that happen? Yes, that's what it was. Patriots game. Yeah. In the in the uh, yeah in the outside. Yeah, yeah. Like right in the as as the people were leaving the stadium. Yeah. So yeah, so, some woman got like. Claw, clocked right in the jaw. Oh, dude hit her? Oh. Yeah. Because then that dude gets destroyed. Then that dude uh, that right. that's fucking exactly jumped on. Every, it, everybody it, everybody, everybody will hit that dude. It turns yeah. into a yeah. how come you can slap scenario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could she slap? How can you sl- I remember, uh, London's a pretty vicious place, actually. You think everyone's like gentlemanly and high etiquette? We were in, we were in, I was in London with you. We s- actually, I was in Scotland. <laughs> with yeah. You. Kill you, mother. I was in Scotland with him and Jeff, and we were all drunk. And some English guys were walking by, or they were driving, and they flicked us off, and they were giving us trouble. I was like, come on, we got into a fight. Let's get into a fight. And Bernie was like, totally rational. He was like, they flicked us off. Who's it, what's it matter? Wait, wait, what, what country is this in? I was Scotland. In England. Oh, you're going to lose the fight. I was like, well, I mean, it was just like, we have to fight now. And uh, no one wanted to fight. <laughs> We no. saw a yeah, yeah, the, the last car thing driving away. I want to point this out. Yeah. The last thing you want is to get a felony in another country because then you can't go back to the country. Unless That's true. You don't like the country. That's, That's true. why I'm so That's scared. That's how you got here. That's why I'm scared of getting in a fight with someone because I don't want to accidentally break the law by defending myself because right. people will sue me, won't they? No, like, you get booted from the country. That'd be the worst yeah, thing for you. Yeah, I get deported. Yeah. Because I could, I could probably. Unless you're Russell Crowe, then you could you fucking get three fights a year. You know what? The thing though is like, I mean, the dude who fell off the tier and landed on the other dude, that guy's going to probably lose a lot of money. And he, and he probably should. If he fell on somebody's head and broke their neck, that guy should probably get a lot of money. But if you get in a fight with somebody, like somebody's lipping off to you in a bar, and you're like, oh, I don't want to punch this guy because I'll get sued. What's the really the most amount of money somebody could sue you for for decking him in the face? Assuming you don't knock him out and they fall over on the back of their head and die. Yeah, I was going to say, what if That they does die? happen. Yeah, yeah. That does happen. Well, 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 just a dude, skull. another dude... In a bar, clocks another dude, gives him a black eye. What's the most I f- amount? I, f- I figure like out of pocket. they could always do claim like some kind of long lasting damage, headaches, migraines, loss of eyesight, and in which case you're probably on the hook for like 
lost revenue or lost income for however many years they live. Well, the thing is, you could be on the hook for a couple million. The thing is, is that we're, we're, I mean, the conversation we're having right now, and everyone who's never been involved in anything is like, oh, one guy hits another guy in the head, and then it's just, oh, he's knocked out or whatever. But that's a lot of times that's not what happens. People get fucked up. I mean, there was a guy like on on the MTV deal, right, who got hit one time in the face, broke his orbital. Mm -hmm. Ridge around his eye, like broke his skull. Mm -hmm. It's like that's you can't fix that. Big big problems. There's no cast for that. Big problems. That was in Austin. It was, it was in like Austin. Austin. First night, yeah. first show. Did he lose his eye? Guy in Sixth Street. He, no, but he was like it broke his was his occipital right here, the orbital bone yeah, right or, here below yeah. cheekbone. And like it completely snapped it, so it was like I was offset. Oh, and I had to go through a lot of surgery to get it fixed. Not good. <clears throat> Not good. Yeah. There's that thing Maybe. going around the internet, and I don't even know if I'm gonna bring it up. It's such a bummer. How do we get on this topic? We're a violent podcast. We are a violent podcast. <laughs> Have we talked about this before? I don't think so. What's have this we, thing that you're going to talk about? Have, like, the worst fight you've gotten into? Have we had that conversation? I don't think so. I've been, I've been on both ends of a one-punch fight. I've never had, like, long... Except with my brother and, like, kids growing up. Well, you know? yeah. Yeah. Most, most fights I've ever seen are, like, they're just one punch. I've been knocked out. I've knocked somebody out and I've been knocked out. Dude. And neither one was I was in a punch. fight that was not one punch, and it was the worst fight where ever. Where my buddy got super drunk, and he's super big, and he was starting to mess around with a guy who was super big and he had some friends and whatever and everyone's drunk and I'm in a parking lot mm. and everyone's doing the standoff thing. Oh, how many everyone's people were there? Ten. Yeah, that's rough. A big group fight like that is a really different dynamic. There was ten people yeah. there and they're doing the, ch the, the, the tension thing just before the fight thing. And I'm standing there, drunk off my ass with a bottle of Corona oh, yeah, nope, yeah. in my hand. I know your grip on it. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm going to be the guy to break this. I'm going to break this. So drunk, dumb, stupid, dumb, idiot, young Joel was like, I'm simply going to take this Corona bottle, and I'm going to hit that guy over the head with it. Wow. That was my plan. So I go and I reach <laughs> back for the Corona bottle. The Corona bottle had condensation on the outside <laughs> of the bottle. <laughs> and so I go, and it goes whoop, out of my hand. It goes whoop, clink, 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 all the way down the parking lot. Clink, 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 hits the light post, clink. And literally, everything stopped. Everyone turned and watched the bottle just go clink, 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 clink. And then there was a beat, and it was just fists. Yeah. Then it was just like... Bah, 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 and then it was a beat on you. <laughs> it was. I got utterly destroyed. I mean, it was just like 10 guys jumped on me. <laughs> it was bad. It's like, look, it's a bottle thrower. It Get was bad. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was the guy who was like, clearly, I was the one who had started at that point. And uh, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Not I a good thing. Yeah. Obvious, obvious advice it from does, Joel Heyman. It does not end well. No. Felony in another country is good advice, too. And you said you'll never be allowed to come back. The opposite, I spent a lot of time when I was in college. We go down to Mexico all the time. And the, the opposite is true. You commit a felony in Mexico, you don't get to leave ever. You disappear. <laughs> you are off the grid for the rest of your life. That's not good, yeah. Yeah, that's the scariest ever there, I was in my life, was being handcuffed in Mexico. Yeah, you know, there's, listen, scary shit. if you're ever in a situation where if, there's no point. There's no point in getting into a fight. With anybody. It's no. just stupid. It's utterly pointless. No. Walk, walk it's, away. It's well, that's pointless. the thing, too, today is, like, it used to be you could get in a fight with somebody, and people would hit, and there was, a, there was like, a rule. Like, if somebody went on the ground, the fight was over. Sure. Now with fucking MMA, that's the fight just started. <laughs> Let's kick the guy in the head. Kick the guy uh, in the head. Now, now it's like, I get, now it's arm bar time. Yeah. yeah. Now it's like, I'm going to figure out how to do an arm bar. I don't know how it works, but I'll just put the arm. It's like, hey, check this out. I saw this in American History X. Watch this. Oh, <laughs> oh God. No, seriously, it's like, if people Not watch good. MMA, they forget that there's a, a ref right there that when the dude, like, taps the other dude on the shoulder and taps out, the ref goes in like a wrecking ball and knocks the guy on top off because he's yeah. got to do that. Yeah, There's absolutely. no ref at the bar, outside the bar. No, so yeah. now when somebody goes down, that'd be a great people job. People just stand there and just like <laughs> deck them on the ground. It's not that good. is very foreign to me. I'm like, going to become you, a freelance you, bar ref. <laughs> an M <laughs> an <laughs> MMA ref. No yeah. one respects the bar ref. You know what the bar ref is? Dead. The thing yeah. is, is that I think you get to a certain age and if you see a fight where one guy is kicking another guy's butt, you have, you're humiliated for everyone. You're humiliated for the guy who's beating on the guy. It's, hum it's humiliating for the guy who's winning the fight, Le even a little it's bit less a, though. It's a <laughs> little bit less. It's embarrassing, you know. It's embarrassing. Winning? For, yeah, I think so. It's embarrassing for both of them. When you punch the dude and knocks him out, did it hurt your hand? It hurt my hand for three weeks, yeah. all the way to the shoulder, all the way to the shoulder. Yeah, because so. that's the only fight I've been in. Is is the same situation where there's like twenty dudes and it's a really small room, and I'm trying to get out, but there's people like s swimming their fists over my head, so I'm not I'm trying to like duck out. And then I saw one of my friends getting grabbed, so all I did was like. 
like a really like yeah. wheel. I shut my eyes and just punched someone. <laughs> it was like the, probably the back or the side of someone's head, and then I ran. But I was like, <laughs> I, was I so like your technique. Worth it. <laughs> I shut, punch, and run. Yeah, because I yeah I just thought if my eyes were shut, I'd get less injured. <laughs> and what did you mess up your hand? Hurt yeah. for a while. I'm not even so sure what I punched. So I think it was a head. Fucking stupid. We're all so fucking stupid. It's funny. Because there's no, it's that's the other thing. There's nothing like, you know, I mean, it's just retarded, you know, nothing ever works where it's just sort of like flailing around. It's everybody like, looks dumb. You're like, I've seen people doing this. It's just everybody looks like an idiot, you yeah. know. Well, you never get that leverage. I you, get to, you know, I mean, there's, like, I read about like, I mean, Dan, who plays Donut in Rivers Blue, he's big into like Krav McGraw. Was that yeah. how you say it? Yeah. It sounds like a country music star, but it's it Israeli defense stuff. Where Dan it's would, like an Israeli MMA kind of. It's like ground grappling yeah. for, but it's like and it, you see it all the time in MMA. Like there's a dude who's like studies this and this and uh, I and Krav Maga. If I'm saying it right, I'm probably saying it wrong. Yeah, probably, just, I'm probably getting killed. I, it's making me hungry. In Twitter. Yeah, I'm ready to go get some Cajun food. Yeah, Twitter <laughs> even knows how to say Krav Maga. K R A V space M A G A. I can't oh. believe. But uh, the worst podcast person ever. you are the worst. He would go to like this dude in suburban Austin's house. And there'd be a bunch of dudes, they'd go into the garage, and they would drag out the mats. They'd get the car out of the garage, move it out, and then they'd put mats down in the garage, and a bunch of dudes would hang out in their underwear and, and wrestle all, all day. Didn't he say it was basically just grabbing other dudes' nuts? <laughs> like, like, that was it? Like, boiled down to its, like, yeah. lowest common... Oh, you have some guy's nuts, like, here. <laughs> well, you're there in a lock. <laughs> we gave him unmitigated shit about that for I think a few weeks and then he got really good at it and we were like nah we don't want to no it's cool dude yeah yeah we'll we'll hang out with <laughs> you we'll do it also but it's crazy like I always thought about like your buddy um from high school who studied martial arts his whole life but then it's one of those things you study your whole life kind of hoping you're never going to use it and he never like he, he went decades of mm -hmm. studying martial arts and never got in a fight it was I think crazy the first time he ever got in a fight he instantly slipped and fell <laughs> Did he really? <laughs> he got back up and still won, but it's like you, you spend all this time practicing. It's like, yeah, I got out there, and then the grass was wet. And <laughs> you slipped. Know? But, oh you, my but God. he can just disable someone. He doesn't have to have the fight, does he? He can just be like, nope. Yeah. So, yeah, he still, he still won despite the fact he, uh, he slipped <laughs> in, the, in the opening. <laughs> all right, well, here, somebody give me a real world example here. Some guy said on Twitter um, that his buddy punched a guy at a bar. Uh, buddy, the guy's face hit the table. He broke his orbital, and now he's blind in one eye. And it cost him, he estimates, a conservative estimate, about $100,000. It oh. cost his friend. For that's punch, not nearly as much as I thought it would be. For punching a guy. That's an Bli I think punch blinding though. a dude. I yeah. mean, that's like... I thought that would be pretty serious. Yeah. I thought you'd have to pay way more than that. Is this... Is this where, he doesn't say where it happened. Nah, he doesn't. You know, it's 140 characters. That's all he said. There's, there's a ton of crap you can't do if you have one eye, though, isn't there? Like what? Like just the lack of depth will ruin you for most like, jobs. Yeah, like you really want to enjoy gravity. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like, I guess this movie's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I went and saw that again. Good movie. Yeah, it's a really, it's a really, really good movie. If you haven't seen Gravity, it's just like easily, I think, if not the best movie of the year, then it's one of well, the best. Speaking of which, it's almost impressive. time for podcast awards. It again. is almost time for podcast oh, awards. Yeah. We typically do those. We should start nominations here pretty soon. We might have to do nominations next probably week. Maybe next week or the week after, and then uh, come up with some winners. Did you see the people are noting that when Joel got up to go to the bathroom, you, you made a note on your pad <laughs> that now that's a padlin <laughs> that Joel is not going to be on the podcast now. <laughs> For did a you while. did you see the new Thor movie? No, I did. Why why say all that? I I don't know. I just I everyone told me how good the first Thor movie was. First I watched Thor it. Movie wasn't good. No, <laughs> everyone was said it was so good when it came out. It was me. I feel like this is the same thing all over again. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not a fan of those movies. I guess I like the Avengers. I didn't like the individual movies. Like Iron, Iron Man's Man. good. Yeah, I'll give you Iron Man, except for Iron Man three, which kind of was. wasn't as good. Marvel really <laughs> suffers from. That was awesome, Joel. I just totally hit the microphone. You, you <laughs> can move that crush. out of your way. Did at I any make point some time. death in the uh, other room? Marvel right. suffers from good villains. The D, the DC comic book movies tend to have good villains, but the the Marvel ones really just don't. And they're not even using the best Marvel villains yet. Like where the where the hell is Doctor Doom? You know, that's what I've been wondering. They used wasn't, wasn't that, wasn't that him? <laughs> Doctor Doom, Page and Doctor Doom, <laughs> Doctor Doom to Avengers Two. Well, who was the? Wasn't was he in the last scene? Fuck if I know, dude. Doctor Doom? No, yeah, who was the I dude sitting in the armchair in space at the end of the Avengers? That's what I'm asking. Oh, that is uh, Thanos. Oh, what is it? Who's Thanos? Thanos. He's a dude who He's collects. A dude. 
the Infinity Gems. I mm. don't think I can spoil something that's in comics. I mean, this is an adapted thing. He collects the Infinity Gems and builds the Infinity Gauntlet. Mm. So, and, and then that, he makes a show about it. Is that Gauntlet season three? When that comes out, Joel, people will be like, wow, they stole the design of the Gauntlet from you guys. <laughs> <laughs> if he's wearing a glove that's like our trophy, I think we have a lawsuit. I think he might be. If they Br- call it the Brandon, Gun Dunk. Brandon is saying that he doesn't think Disney owns the rights to Fantastic Four. Really? Uh, they're making a Fantastic Four movie right now. Hmm. I then, don't know. So you can look up who's doing that. I mean, they already made one, didn't they? Yeah, but that was that predates the Disney Marvel deal. Yeah, I'm just saying, like we're re- rebooting, we're doing a lot of reboots. That's the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> well, hopefully we don't get sued. <laughs> it is. Hopefully, inspired. Uh, we'll just inspired. edit that part out. It's um, inspired by. Is the Human Torch in the same universe as Captain America? Yes, same universe. Yeah, that'd be cool. There. Well, I, I, there was some reference to that just recently. I forget what it was. Oh, Lego Fox. Marvel. Uh, there's an achievement if you get Human Torch and Captain America together, and I think the name of the achievement is, hey, you look familiar, or something like that. <laughs> really and cool. it references that the, the same actor, Chris Evans. Uh, Chris Evans, played the Human Torch, played Johnny Storm, and played uh, Captain America. He's I a mean, good superhero. He's, he's great, but I mean, I mean, do we really not have that many actors? I mean, are we really, is there, like, not enough actors? They used actors to do that all the time, though. They used to, in the Bond movies, they would just reuse actors in different sure. characters. Like, someone would be on Bond's side in one movie, and then they'd be Blofeld in the next movie. It's like... Like, the really? big villain? Like, yeah. big parts? Yeah. Hmm. It's weird. Yeah, it, was like, I, it was like a bit part was the audition for a future the villain role. The thing is role. that if, like, you know, casting directors like you, and blah, 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 and you show up on time, and all yeah. that stuff, it's like, I guess you're just going to get work. Or I'm wondering if it was a yeah. different, different crew... Nobody noticed, and the, the actor just kept quiet about it. The fact well, he was already in a body. <laughs> so, yeah, Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer, and someone other property are owned by Fox. Really? Are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah Spider Man's owned by guess, Sony. I guess because uh, the first Fantastic Four movie got made in 05, right? And at that time, they already put the second movie under contract. So, ah. Daredevil's the other one, Brian's telling me. Thank you, Brian. And Brian's the one who. So, once they make, produce a movie, is it out of contract? It'll or? probably be out of contract after so the next one. So, that's probably. Are they. Hold, hold on to it. For so a yeah, while. the next Fantastic Four movie I just looked is scheduled for 2015. So there was then. a uh, announcement about TV shows that are being developed uh, into comic books are being developed into TV shows, and the four that they chose are Netflix is developing them into shows, and the four heroes they chose are like, what the f- why why these ones? Like they chose Daredevil, that's the most well known one they chose. Then Luke Cage, it's Power Man. And then Iron Fist, What's and then a character I had never even heard of called Jessica Jones. <laughs> I, that sounds like a porn is name. That a, is that a? Is that a? I mean, I'm gonna look it up to make sure I got it right. Is that a guy? What's power? Yeah, Jessica I Jones. I've, I've never gotten into comic books, dude. It's like yeah, really? I don't know crap. Yeah. That's why I think yeah, that's why I like I the movies. Either. It's that it's just mindless entertainment where I'm not worried about the accuracy of the characters. I can just sit and watch the Avengers, and it's awesome. Yeah, Avengers was great. Yeah, others ones not as much as great. <laughs> Let's have another beer. Here. Yeah, her, she was, it's a comic. It's well after I stopped reading comics, pretty much, or at least regularly. The first comic for Jessica Jones was published in November of 2001. Her name is Jessica what? Campbell Jones Cage. What's her superpower? Fictional character appearing in books published by Marvel Comics. She's embittered. Wow. <laughs> That's her power. She's mad about shit. Uh, she's used the a- alias Jewel, Nitrous, and currently Power Woman. She, uh, she, the, the Power first Woman, plot, she married to Power Man? The, I know about the script. The first plot is she gets her boyfriend into a fight at a Super Bowl party. <laughs> That's right. It's, uh... And then she kicks the shit out of everybody. I don't think Power Woman needs anyone would else you, fighting her fights. Would you like to hear her abilities? Please. As a result of a chemical spill. Ah. We've all been there. It all, yeah, it happens a lot. Jessica Jones possesses superhuman strength and resistance to injury and the ability to fly at subsonic speeds. That's really subsonic. That's important to say. Subsonic. So she can fly then. She can fly like a bird. Well, she can fly at like what six hundred miles an hour, or that's below, that, or, or below. below, or below. It's like Very zero much. or six hundred. There's key. no in between. No, no she can range. fly below Mach five. I think Mach one is the speed of sound. Yeah, I know, but it's also below Mach five. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> that's the joke I'm making. Yeah. <laughs> she was able to lift Very, her. Yeah. The exact limits of her strength and durability have not been defined, but she was able to lift a two-ton police car. With apparent ease, <laughs> she was not able to fully withstand a venom blast ah. from Jessica Drew. How come these are all just like, <laughs> this whole comic is just girls? Sounds like porn star. No, movie. it's all Jessica. Well, you no, know, it's all names. It's like this is Nancy, and then she's fighting Bill. I think they're. <laughs> I think just making a bunch of shit up. 
I think they're just making it up. Like the point of making a comic book movie is you have a built-in market, right? Who? What's the market for? Probably not big. Who? Has who, who is, is it a DC or is it a Marvel? It's or? Marvel, and it's Netflix developing it. And Netflix doesn't give a shit. Like they put out um, House of Cards with Kevin Spacey, mm -hmm. and then they put out. Did you ever see Orange Is the New Black? No, nope, never that? did. That series, I have, I, I don't know why I watched the entire first season of that series because. For whatever reason, I couldn't get into it, but I just refused to give up on it. And I just kept watching it until episode eight. And then episode eight out of ten, I was like, okay, this is a good series now. <laughs> and now I like the series, but I have no idea what wow. got me from episode one to episode eight. Wow. Spiked. Are they yeah. hour long or half, long, half hour episodes? I think like 45 minutes. They're, they're all over the place. Oh, like right. Their Netflix. format doesn't matter because yeah. it's Netflix. The, the, the thing I was getting to, though, was that um, Netflix had a press conference where they talked about the popularity of House of Cards and Orange is the New Black and they said they're very popular that's essentially what they said they said well like what are the ratings they said we don't need to tell you that Doesn't just matter. people watch it and it's popular it's like we don't have advertisers we don't have subscribers that we have to like you know appease like HBO does I guess and not in the same sense so we don't have to tell you we this is but not aren't the they a publicly traded company don't they, they are a publicly don't they have to traded disclose company. like the cost going into making it maybe Maybe they'd have to disclose that, but it's buried in other stuff. I think. Hmm. I mean, so, what is the hope behind a Netflix original? Is it so people sign up for Netflix? Is that yeah. the draw? Yes. Okay. That way they don't have to license it from anyone. Right. And Create it drives own. subscriptions. Create Man, your own content. Netflix streaming when it first came out was absolutely amazing, but now with all the rise of all these other streaming services, it becomes a little harder to find a specific thing you want to watch. It may have expired, and it may be on another streaming service, yeah. or it just might be out yeah, of the catalog. I, I saw that. Twenty apps. What? Yeah, for, for, to watch stuff on Netflix, like 20 different apps. Yeah, there's a, I read that, it's funny you mentioned that, the, the Simpsons are finally going to be able to be streamed yeah. on the internet, and I was like, great, what's it going to be? And it's like, it's gonna, the people who got the rights for it are the FXX network, they're developing their own mobile app to do their own streaming, so if you want to watch the Simpsons streaming, you have to do it through the FXX mobile app, which doesn't exist yet. Overreaching. Overreaching. It's like just... Give it to Hulu. Wizzo, I mean, <laughs> I like The Simpsons. I really liked The Simpsons. I haven't seen The Simpsons in seven years. Yeah, but I mean, they would have all the seasons. They're going to have all the seasons. You don't have to watch the new shit. <laughs> Just watch the stuff you like. First ten seasons. Perfect. Yeah. I'm trying to see. I, I think I'm misquoting how many episodes are in Orange is the New Black. It's a, it's a drama. I, I don't know if drama the right word. It's a drama about a women's prison and a, uh, this yeah. woman who goes to prison. I saw the trailers for it. A lot of stuff is billed as a Netflix original, but it isn't. Like uh, Derek is billed that way. Ricky Gervais. Oh, it's show. absolutely not. What? It's it not is, an original. It is billed as an original. He's yeah. right though. Where, He's billed as. Uh, I thought. On, I thought it was an original, a Netflix original. And on the uh, on the beginning, it says a Netflix original on the actual opening of the show. Is this a show that's already been? Yeah, it was on BBC. It was on Channel Four like a year ago. Yeah. In the UK. Like it's maybe just the. Uh, Licensing purposes. Yeah. Like, however, Game of Thrones gets distributed in the UK. Sky 6 or whatever. Sky Atlantic. <laughs> I'm sure it's a Sky Atlantic original. Yeah, I had a feeling I was wrong. It's 13 episodes in the first season okay. of Orange is the New Black. It is not 10 episodes. So, 8 out of 13. Eight, still, uh, but it was episode 8 when I was finally like, okay, now I'm watching still something a long run. that I want to watch. And I have no idea why. Are I they making another long. season? Yeah, I think so. It's based on somebody's memoirs. The main character, it's supposed to be like, Inspired by true events, if not directly true. Did mm. anyone see House of Cards? Mm -mm. Nope. I no haven't one, seen it yet. No one saw it. Have you? I haven't seen it. I hear good things about it. haven't seen it. Uh, is All of you guys are Netflix. I hear that some people watched it. I hear people people talk people about it. Not, they talked about it like crazy when it was out. Do you remember that event that I did where I was, uh, it was a night with me and Kevin Smith and Lisa Kudrow, who yeah. was on right. Friends? So House of Cards was just like the talk of the town at that point. And... We were talking about how uh, the budget for this thing, this essentially original series or a web series, you know, an advanced web series, essentially. And it was 22 episodes for $100 million. So it was, it was about $4 million an episode. That's more what, than Game of Thrones. Which is what they were paying, $4 million an episode. I was having this conversation with Ms. Kudrow, and, uh, or Ms. Kudrow. And uh, I said, yeah, I go, it's $4 million an episode. And I was about to say... Can you believe they spent that much on it? And she goes, yeah, I don't know how they made that for four million bucks. I was like, oh, yeah. Here's a person who, when she was on the show Friends, it cost $6 million a day to get the cast 
to show up. Yeah, I, I can tell you from firsthand experience that money did not go towards sets or locations <laughs> or craft service or anything else. It's on a freaking stage where they have like three sets. You know, I mean, wow. And she's she's way ahead of the curve. Like she made her own web series uh, and then sold it to I think Showtime. Yeah, and, and then did it. So she totally understands. Uh, you know, web development and the economics of web shows. And it's like, yeah, but it's still like when you come at it from a TV perspective, it's like, how do you make a show for $4 million yeah. a week? Everything's super cheap. Yeah. So, Joel, when you were on Friends, was was the set that you – because you were on the casino and the plane, right? Was yeah. that on the same physical space as yes. the apartment? Like, was it yes. all in a line? It was to the left. Weird. <laughs> so you actually – Actually, the casino was to the right. The, the coffee shop was in the middle. And there were the apartments that were saying, yeah. So you've been – did you walk on all the other – Parts just to yeah. say you, that's cool. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're there. It's not that it's it's surprisingly small, right? You know, it's like everything on through a lens looks bigger. Yeah, right. And it's, and, and it's always weird when you in in your head you have a jo- you, you have the geography and it just doesn't match absolutely. anything when you're actually on the set. Absolutely, it's so weird. No, yeah, it's like you 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 have that idea where they had the bar and then the couch. And it's like, oh, well, that's a certain amount of spaces. But if you really watch the actors walk, it's like, one, two, three, I'm at the bar. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like three yeah. steps away. I mean, everything is so compressed. It's really, it was weird. Yeah. It was really weird. Can I tell you kind of a horror story for Joel about that? So when you're a struggling actor and you're on set and you think there's an opportunity to be a featured extra or get a line or something like that, you make yourself available. It's like part of the effort you make to become a bigger part I of you the have show. To sleep with someone, of course. Right? So well, they were <laughs> Joel was going to be in the scene where they're on a plane, and so he made sure he jockeyed himself in a position where he'd be in a seat where he'd be on camera well, behind Jennifer Aniston and David Schwimmer. Yep. I, I, I actually just kind of got sort of lucky with that. but like, And he was super excited about it, though, because you oh, were like, on camera, and you're right yeah, behind yeah. these two major actors, and it was like, it was a cool shot. Then in the casino scene, they cast him, they put him in a Hawaiian shirt, and... Courtney Cox had this role where she rolls something and she wins and she's trying to make Chandler jealous at the time. So she turns to Joel and they rehearse this and hugs him and like does this big hug and like all happy and it makes Chandler jealous. Then somebody on the set goes, wait a minute, he was on the plane. He and, was the guy and, behind them. He shouldn't be this and part. And that is the lesson of Hollywood right there. It was so like, they pulled him out of that shot where he gets there. macked on I by a, Courtney I Cox. A thing. <laughs> You know, and then it's just sort of like, and it's like you go into rehearsal, and it's like, oh, and then we're going to get him back the next day, and it's like, I have this thing, I have this thing, and it's like, oh, they took it away from you. It's like, <laughs> yeah. welcome to Hollywood. Because well, they Stoltz. justified that he was in the background of the plane scene, Can so be it, it would guy. be confusing. It'd be well, weird. And they also gave it to the, uh, they gave it to the writer, right? They or gave it to like the writer. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> you're still in that scene, though, because I saw I'm still that there, the Friends yeah, Facebook featured. page posted a screenshot of that scene recently, uh, of her throwing the dice and you're right there in the back. You are literally right behind her in that fucking Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, it's amazing no. how often you're on international television. Like, I feel like whenever I go to England, I visit my dad, he'll be watching Criminal Minds or something. I'll be like, oh, there's Joel. You that, like, weir- friends you will be on his side. There's Joel. You want to know a weird job I had? And this is, there's a Disney ride somewhere. I don't know where the Disney ride is, but I play Steve Jobs. What? In the Disney ride. They do like a history of some shit or whatever, and I'm Steve Jobs on that ride. It's got to be like Disneyland <laughs> Paris or some place that doesn't I don't know what it right? is. How like they to sh- find yeah. that? They're like, you're, you're like, you're, I don't know, I don't want to see the thing, but they're like, you kind of look this way or whatever, so I got Steve Jobs, and they hired a short, you know, fatter guy to be Wozniak when they were younger, and like, we're going to, and we go to the garage, and we go to the thing or whatever, it was like, yeah, I don't know what happened to that. We gotta find that. I don't know. What I've gotta let's see not find US Steve let's Jobs. Not find I've gotta let's, see that. Let's not find that. You kind of look like Steve Jobs right now. Just if that was shirt was a turtleneck instead of a V-neck, you'd be set. And much Gus, less. I have a picture for you here that I will show you. Oh, which please. is my favorite scene that Joel was ever in. Can I send it to you? Uh, yeah, you got my thing here, right? I don't think I do. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't want to say <laughs> it <laughs> over the. I'm Brandon. I'm gonna send it to you, and you can put this photo up. Here, this let me, is my let me, favorite thing. Let, let me read this while you send that to Brandon. Go for it. Uh. I want to remind everyone, this episode of the Received Podcast is brought to you by Hulu Plus. You've probably tried Hulu.com. Now with Hulu Plus, you can watch your favorite shows anytime, anywhere. Hulu Plus lets you watch thousands of hit TV shows and a selection of acclaimed movies on your television or on the go with your smartphone or tablet. And it all streams in HD for the best viewing experience. With Hulu Plus, you can watch your favorite current TV shows like SNL, Community, and Red vs. Blue. You can also check out exclusive content including Hulu Originals like The Awesome starring SNL Seth Meyers and Moon Boy starring Chris O'Dowd from Bridesmaids. Hulu Plus offers a great selection of acclaimed films. For only $7.99 a month, you can stream as many TV shows and movies as you want, wherever you want. 
Right now, you can try Hulu Plus for free for two weeks when you go to HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. That's a special offer for everyone watching and listening. Make sure you go to HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth to get the extended free trial and know that we sent you. So go to HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth now. Do it, and you can watch they tons of stuff online. don't give you a hard time when you read it. Like the one time I read it, they gave me a very hard time. Oh, you time. started hitting people to start fucking slapping them. They threw, they threw things at me. Yeah. And uh, no one threw anything at you. Oh, I, 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 just, I they, had they, a beer bottle, they, so I can't do my, they, can't do that thing over here. They've anymore. done that to me before. They've thrown stuff. I've, I, I, yeah. I, I earlier I had to deflect it. I'm re- wait, I, I took my lumps. <laughs> Why did they move the camera so I can't mess with you when you're reading? Uh, we had to reposition the cameras for the t- to accommodate the patch set. Oh, almost human is going on. That's a new Carl Urban thing. That's it going just on. started last night. Was the first episode. I haven't watched it yet. And that's going on Hulu Plus. It's uh, on yeah. here. I'm looking at it. I'm on yeah. Hulu right now, and it's yeah, on there. So, yeah, that's one of the things you can watch do on we there. G- do we get free Hulu Plus because they sponsor us? No. Hmm. I've been a, like, I, I never asked. Like, I've had a Hulu Plus membership, I think, since they started. I have, yeah. too. So I, I've, I didn't even bother asking. Well, how much is it? Seven ninety nine a month with oh. a two-week free trial if you go to HuluPlus.com <laughs> slash Rooster Teeth. I'm going to do that tonight. Give it a try. It's, it's great. I mean, it's like, it's, it's awesome. Ton, tons of stuff to watch. And they, they got it. Jack iPad app, iPhone app, it. Xbox app. Jack I got an app like, in my TV for it. It's like, yeah. I don't even have to turn anything else <laughs> on. It's awesome. I'm going to see if this is available in the movie. Is, uh, this the, is this the image you sent to yeah, Brandon? Yeah, this is what I wanted. So. This is my favorite thing. So, the, of all the things Joel has done to Pearden over the years, he was in this movie called Sim One or Simone. With right. With Al Pacino and Winona, Winona Ryder there yelling at Joel. He's like her assistant. And there's a scene where Winona Ryder and Al Pacino are screaming at each other. And dead in the center of the shot <laughs> is Joel, like, looking back and forth between them. Like, trying to, like... Play nice, and then she turns around and screams at you in it, and I just love that. Why don't you part your hair like that on a regular basis? Uh, good. That's h- hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard to do. I don't know how. You, what's your hair preparation, Gus? Do you have any hair preparation? Uh, I wash my hair, then I dry it, and then I do this. And then that's and then it. Do you put anything in your hair? No, fuck no. I hate I hate shit in my hair. Do you I hate it? Drives me fucking crazy. Your hair process. Is very different from day to day, probably. My hair is flat today. I didn't do anything, but usually I foof it up because uh, it's very straight and goes down into my eyes, and it annoys me. You so grow hair pop. like crazy. I feel like it was yesterday that you had no that you shaved your head. I uh, I had my head shaved in June. This is actually the same haircut. I haven't had it cut. It's like every single hair on my head is the same length right now. <laughs> it looks like a mushroom when it I get works. out of the shower. No, it doesn't work that way. Does all your hair grow at the same length? <laughs> my hair, I can stand my hair straight up <laughs> if I want to. It drives me crazy. Your <laughs> hair is so puffy. Yeah. Um, it's, ama- it's an amazing talent. I would like hair like yours. One time when we worked at TNI, Nick Gallardo dropped computer case screws in my hair, yep. and then we couldn't find them. <laughs> I can lose a pencil in my hair if I, if I want to. I can put, like, in my hair, I can put... I can lose a dick in my hair. Boy, hey, take it easy. Hey. Well, hey. Uh, <laughs> Who the plus? When was the last time you had a moment in your life where Never. you were just like... How did my life end me at this point right now? Because oh. I had that yesterday because I, I'm not, I probably can't talk about what I was doing. Maybe You cannot talk about that. You were on a secret shoot for Can YouTube. I describe that, the position that I was nope. in? You were in a secret shoot for YouTube. Okay, well, I was in a place and I was holding a thing <laughs> and it was weird. I showed That's them all a, I can say I showed right them now. a behind-the-scenes video I took for you and we'll, we'll put it up after, yeah. after that video airs. Is there, but, a, uh, is there a contractual... We were t- we were talking about the last time that I had that, which which was the last time I had that was, we were s- you and I, we were sitting on the set of The Hobbit, <laughs> yeah, and we were we were had earphones on and we were listening to, uh, a scene from the movie that has yet to happen, and I was like, how I'm in New Zealand, I'm like, how the hell did what path yeah. led me to be so far from where you grew up, because of you, and also I watched The crazy Hobbit experience, yeah, it's- yeah. Which I'm, is, I'm sure it was something that was you know, super influential to you when you were younger. It's crazy. So I'm, yeah. I'm watching The Hobbit being made, and I'm just like, it's just <laughs> cr- crazy. I have a lot of dust in my mouth and nose still. I, I have a lot of dust. I can't wait to be able to talk about it. Yeah. But my <laughs> shoes are so dusty. Now, Hollywood dust or just... <laughs> or like just, uh, powdered donut, donut dust? dust. Or it's like sand. We're hanging out with Tom about? Ford. <laughs> we're hanging out all weekend with him. He's a good dude. So it was like uh, rock dust. Um, did, you see, did you hear about this thing? Uh, when did this happen? I guess uh, last week? No, it was a couple days ago. Scientists realized that they accidentally killed the oldest animal in the world. <laughs> what? What? I guess in 2006 they found this, this type of clam. And I guess you can, count, you can tell how old it is by counting the rings on it. 
but the rings on the outside were kind of fucked up, so they decided to open it up and count the rings on the inside. And they realized that this clamp was 507 years old. Wow. And they had just killed it by opening it up to figure out how old it was. Did they not know it was this alive? Thing, this thing, they, they knew it was alive. They just didn't know how old it was. So I wanted to figure it out. This thing <laughs> has been around since 1499. Some <laughs> assholes find it. They're like, I wonder how old this thing is. Fucking crack it open. <laughs> wow. I mean, when it gets to that point, you almost have to have the conversation with yourself. Would I have rather killed a person or this thing? Thing, mm -hmm. this timeless thing this that has thing been alive. That, that, that became alive seven years after Columbus landed in the New World. So, <laughs> do clams not age? Yeah, it ages. Well, they you age, can but, yeah, but they apparently don't, they live long. I don't know. What What's is the, the lifespan longest? of a clam? Apparently <laughs> fucking <laughs> a lot. What is that age? What is no, 700? According to the clam, it was still 1490. It was found, it was found on a seabed near Iceland. Have you seen those weird... They gave it a name. What is it? Well, see, that's Ming. just gonna make it. Locked in. What was it? Ming. 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 That's right. M I N G. There's a there's a weird rock that's a, that's alive. Have you seen it? No. <laughs> Go on. There's a creature. Go ahead. That is it, it's a rock. It's a rock. And right. it's on the uh, it'll, you find it on a beach and stuff near mm -hmm. other rocks. But you can saw it open and there's guts inside it. It's like a rock with guts. And they slice. Really? Yeah. And it, and all it does. I'm looking this up. This this is how this thing works. It suck. It filters in water through the rock. No, and it filters out nutrition. And it, like, all it does is just have water flow through it. Then to reproduce, it sprays out eggs and sprays out sperm and just hopes that some. How can there be? And then a new rock will how grow. How can there be a species alive today that humanity hasn't figured out a way to eat? This is it. Look, there it is. That's the rock with oh guts. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. How have we not? Oh, that, wait, wait, hold on. That's not in the stream yet. Wait, wait till. And wait. that is a delicacy. Oh my god. People will cut these rocks open and scoop out the guts. And so eat, people and, do and, eat and it. Eat them. Yeah. Who? Do they who eat what that? people? What people eat that? And basically, it doesn't eat anything. It what doesn't, the hell is that? It's a rock with guts. It's not a rock, dude. A rock does not have guts. A rock what, is what not is that? fucking alive. This look, thing was not formed in a volcano. What is this that? This thing was not formed at the bottom of a fucking riverbed. Here's the question. Here's the question. Was that a rock? That something got inside, like a spore, and then expanded? No, that's the or animal. is that like a spore that like excretes rock and then builds rock around the outside of it? What's the story with this thing? It is it is and born who, like that. And who eats it? <laughs> I'm We're, Googling rock animal. What does my life become? Locals eat it raw or in stews, and non-locals describe the taste as so bitter <laughs> with a slight iodine flavor. <laughs> what the fuck is an iodine so, flavor? What, where are these locals from? Where is this? Yeah, where are locals? They eat rocks, so they're Rockford. from Zelda, right? Isn't that it? <laughs> Wasn't that it? a thing in like the never-ending story, that giant rock that ate rocks? Living rock there's, is there's one of the weirdest things. Ocarina of Time, there's a whole race of people that eat rocks. Are, are these people from Ocarina of Time? I don't know. <laughs> Where the Where fuck are, are, are these people from? They're, they're probably, rocks. They're probably in Oz. Uh, it looks exactly... It's not a rock. <laughs> so, it's not. It's, it's looking exactly like a rock with guts. Uh... Well, so you. probably not yet. You didn't add any information that I didn't give. I was totally right. It he, looks he, like it. He it's, backed it up. It's yeah. not a rock. We know you're not insane now. Yeah. That you did not imagine this. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, look, there's a, a video. self-sexing secretive intestine. Please don't talk about stuff on that TV until it's on this TV. I would, hate to, I would hate to be an animal like this clam or this rock <sighs> that people want to kill you just to, sh like, oh, look, I found this thing, and now we have to kill it. Look. Like, look, this guy's going to stab this thing just to show how weird it is. Yeah. Uh, Get get the knife in there. I don't want to watch this. Yeah, it's like you no, were literally. No, I do want to watch. I wonder if you were screams. literally just ah! a thing. Oh. oh, well, that's not a rock because he cut it through with a knife. What what is that material? That's up. Oh, all right, why are we watching this? This is like a big mushroom. This or is something. like a Carpenter movie. This, no, it's like a <laughs> snuff film for those rock things. It's like a mushroom. It's like they took it out to the beach and they fucking cut its head off. Well, it, it is. It's like it's like oh look, I'm so excited to see this thing. Let me kill kill it to show you how weird it is. Well, but it's okay <laughs> though. It's okay though if it's let me kill it and then I'm gonna eat it. So would you be annoyed if someone took a fish out of the ocean on a fishing rod and then killed it? I would be annoyed if an alien showed up on Earth and said, "Look at these humans. It's weird. They have all these guts. Watch, watch this." <laughs> <laughs> and then gutted me in front of its buddies to show how weird I was. Well, they weren't doing that for a laugh. He was probably mining out all the stuff. That you was are in. pretty weird. Though. I doubt it. It was a fucking. <laughs> it was like a handheld YouTube video. <laughs> He's showing his friend how weird it is. Also, he would have been like he was showing the camera like the inside of it. Like he was, right, here like, we go. Like Found in the shallow waters off of Chile and Peru. There you go. I mean, it looks like a tomato on the it's, inside of it. It's a sea sponge of some kind. It's a sea sponge, right? See, we knew it. <laughs> they're not rocks, Marie. They're minerals. <laughs> <laughs> so, I fucking love Twitter. So where is where is this? So this is not a rock at all. 
No. No. Where is the rock? Based on the know. fact that it has blood, it's not a rock. <laughs> I mean, I, want, I hate Also, to... the guts. <laughs> I don't know if that's blood. It's red. It's do, blood. Do it's on the inside of animal. It's red. Do sea urchins have blood? Sea sponge. Sea sponge. Sure. Is there a difference? I don't know. I'm yeah. sure there is. No, that, but that rock has blood, and the blood is clear. <laughs> what? You know what would make all the difference is if when you when he stabbed into it, if it went ah God. See, no one would stab into it. We were talking about the worst sushi we've ever had. The worst sushi I've ever had is sea urchin. You ever had sea urchin? Uni? Oh my God! No, you're justifying what Kara's saying in my ear. What is she saying? <laughs> She's talking about sea urchins. Yeah. She's talking yes. about Top Chef and Sea Urchins. Sea thank Urchins. You. Thank you. I'd like to go eat. You know what we should do is you should have a podcast where we go eat weird shit. Rock no. food. Gross. Let's do that. Sea Urchin, it's like sea urchins. It's yellow, gross. like neon yellow. Well, they're different and colors. It's like, it's like snot. Yeah. It's gross. Oh. But yeah. does it like taste snot. good? No. It's bad the whole way what through. What if it tasted like chocolate? Like it's always the thing when you go to eat sushi, but it doesn't. What if what if it was what if it was chocolate? Well, have you Joel? eaten it? Have you eaten it? Yes, I've eaten it. And what does it taste like? It's what horrible. You, what it's just like, it, what does it and taste just like? It's just a giant sea urchin. It's it's got a horrible texture. What it is, is like it is like eating, like if you collected a bunch of snot and then decided, oh, I'm gonna eat that. You're focused on the texture. I am because that's a big part of it. Did I ever What's tell you about my encounter with sea urchins in Puerto Rico? <laughs> I was at uh. Like, uh, would you drink a glass of uh, snot? And if, <laughs> and if not, Joel, would you not drink it because you'd be afraid it would taste weird, or because of the slimy, gross texture? <laughs> this Which is a, do you think just, would put you off a little bit just more? Just get the dust out. Get the dust out of your system. No, <sighs> oh. dust out of your system. It's horrible. No. It's like it's like the sushi that you have to put wasabi like directly on it, and then it, like, I will eat. I have Ooh, no problem gross. eating a sea urchin. I want to eat a sea urchin. You can go to any sushi place anywhere in the world and go have uni. Su uni? uni sushi. Yeah, uni. That's what it I, is. Uh, when I was in Puerto Rico. And it's gross. One time I was on this like really remote beach. Uh, it was kind of close to my house, but I liked going there because it was hard to get to. There ne was never anybody there. So I went out there. I was by myself. The weather was kind of rough that day. So I was swimming. When I was done swimming, I started walking back to the shore. But the problem with this beach, and one of the other reasons there weren't very many people, is there was a lot of shallow rock if tide was low. Um, so I'm walking back to people the beach. People wouldn't go on the beach because of rocks? It's, like, bad. Like, really sharp, jagged rocks. Oh, okay. So uh, I, was, I was snorkeling, actually, and I saw these giant urchins, like, this big, like basketballs. Fuck that. Um, so I'm, I'm done swimming. I'm walking back to the shore, and I step on a fucking sea urchin. Get out of here. Yeah, so I step on it with my right foot, uh, and I fall. And I fall, like, face forward into the sharp, jagged rocks. <laughs> and I land like on my hand and on my forearm. So my arm is just like shredded to ribbons. I've got fucking sea urchin spines <laughs> in my right foot. And I'm like dragging myself out of the water, like onto the beach and there's nobody around, like no help. I'm parked like literally like a mile away. I drag myself out of the ocean. I, I, I crawl up on the beach. I look and there's a mongoose running by. <laughs> and it like stops and it looks at me and it just hisses. I'm like, this is my life. I'm going to fucking <laughs> die out here in the middle of nowhere. This mongoose is going to watch me die. I, I had to get up and walk a fucking mile with sea urchin in my foot. Did you not pull it out? I couldn't. It was too deep. Oh. Like, like it had gone in and then just snapped off. Every oh. story that you've told me about Puerto Rico sounds exactly like that. <laughs> I mean, to me, Puerto Rico sounds like hell on earth or a video game. It's, it it's sounds like the beautiful. World. You should definitely visit. Don't, don't try to live there. It's I, crazy. Just, uh, I just spent some time with Dan. Uh, slow-mo guys, Dan, because we did a couple of shoots, and I, uh, I, I actually cut his vacation short. He's been traveling around South Asia, Southeast Asia. He was in Vietnam, and he had his phone stolen from his hotel room while he was asleep in the hotel room. What? Really? Wow. Him and his girlfriend were asleep. Some dude broke in and stole their phones. How? I would leave immediately. They stayed there again. No way. They if someone was in the room with me when I was sleeping, I would leave that place. Yeah. He, yeah. Was, he was also in a cab, same country, and uh, some guy opened the cab door and started trying to sell him an umbrella. He's like, buy the umbrella and all that. And then Dan f felt the guy reach into his pocket and try and pull his phone out. So Dan, like, dived out of the cab and got him in a headlock, and the guy was like, uh. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to spend any time there. He, no. he just stayed there for ages. I'd leave immediately. I would get in the cab and go to the airport. Wow, that's crazy. Was he there when the fucking... Super typhoon hit? He was in the Philippines two days before that typhoon oh hit. Oh, my like, God. Oh, we're going. We're leaving. That's Fuck, fucking crazy, man. man. That thing had sustained winds of 195 miles an hour yeah. with gusts over 235. 
I saw a video of some dude trying to rescue people from a flooded hotel, and he's like pushing the residents out on a mattress. Yeah. And then at the end, he's like, oh, okay. We got electricity. I can feel it. And like, apparently the water became electrified, and he was like, whoa. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. That was That's a nightmare. It's like when the, the, um, the tsunami hit uh, Indonesia. Yeah. The, like the footage from that was terrible, terrible, yeah. terrible. Because that would be the the videos where it's like, okay, the water level's rising. If it was me, I'd probably go, I'd climb that pole. Right. And then in like a minute, the pole is is like a meter underwater. Yep. It's Mental. That was so crazy scary. So how many people died in this typhoon? Like ten. I don't think they even know yet. Like yeah, the, the last the, thing was ten thousand. But J Japan had the people the are still dying because of food. They're having real issues right. with food. The one in Japan didn't like a hundred thousand people die or something. Oh, I don't know. It's a lot of people. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, it's it's funny that you say that thing about the guy who went into his hotel room and stole his cell phone, because I had a robbery at where I'm living. Recently, recently, somebody went into my place and stole some shit and took off, and uh, basically they used a key. I'm at an apartment, and basically, it was a maintenance guy. Right. Yeah, you know who let himself in. And took a bunch of my shit, and I called them, I was like, hey, listen, I need to get the locks changed. And they're like, don't worry, sir, we'll send over the person who robbed you immediately to change the locks. <laughs> so he came over, and he was like, wow, I can't believe your friends robbed you. And I'm like, my friends didn't rob me. He's like, yeah, they probably have your key. And I'm like, no, no, none of my friends have the key to this place. And then we had to go for this thing where I had to pretend like I didn't know that he robbed me, and he had to pretend like he so didn't think rob me. So you guy? I'm pretty sure. I'm 99% sure. It was. It's just. It's awful. And I'm still at this place. I needed like to get out of the place, but it's like every day I, I go and I go to my car and he's like he's there. He's like, hey, have a good day at work. I'm like, I have to do random. I do random drop bys by my apartment during the day to make sure he's not robbing me. I don't have that camera. Get a camera. Yeah, yeah. I should get, motion, get a camera. Get, sense get like one of the ones I have. I gotta move. Just point it right at the door. I gotta move. Well, I, I told him. I was like. You know, when he was there, and I was like pretending, I was like, ah, ha, ha, looks like I, you know, I don't really have anything else valuable in my apartment, and I guess I'm going to have to get a camera and install it in here so no one else does that again. So could you immediately tell you've been robbed? Like, did he root through stuff, or was it just like some things were It's gone? that slow discovery where you go in there, and you're right. like, oh, wait a minute, I didn't leave a shirt on the floor here, and it's like, why is that door opened? And then you go over, and it's like, oh, my iPad is gone, and the iPad stand is gone. He went through, and like... I had, like, the iPad with the iPad stand, yeah. making it the most expensive, pointless <laughs> alarm clock in the history of the world. <laughs> and he stole that, and then, like, stole, like, my... Did you have Find My iPhone installed on it? It, oh, was, the f it was the first-generation <clears throat> iPad, so it's like, no. Mm. But it was just sort of like, that's a whole thing. So... That sucks. Yeah, and uh, I gotta move. Yeah, you know, but you I'm, move. I gotta move. Well, if you need any help moving, Gavin's right here. He's, Are he's, you? He's willing to help you. Do you so I've helped him move before. I did it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know. You did help me move before. It was fun. It was very I'm kind. Offering. Yeah. So moving is the hardest thing ever. Why is there a picture of a clam on the? Oh, that's a video that we, you did. We, uh, we were talking about clams. And I wanted to show this video, but now it's pretty irrelevant. You want to show it anyway? Did someone steal the clam? Yeah, show, show, the, the clam. show the clam. So there's a clam that somebody put on their table, and then they put a bunch of salt on the table, and they discovered a horrible thing about clams. So you put a bunch of salt. Oh on the table. no! It does it escape? Oh. <laughs> It just no. basically oh licks all the salt off the table. No. And it's like, I need to find what? a new home. Oh, Jesus. that's... Yeah. Well, Apparently I the like how long of a period of time is this? Is this like, real time? Yeah. It's real time? Oh! Yeah. Someone's going to put oh one of those Oh my on the god! It's it a like, snail, basically. It's, it's a snail! So someone's going to put salt on their arsehole <laughs> and have one of those lick it all off, aren't they? <laughs> oh my <Kevin>. god! <laughs> Oh Why'd God. you go to that? Well, I didn't even look at it. It looks like it was put salt I on I never thought ass. of that. A dozen times I've seen this video. No, it looks like it was the that first is, thing you go that to. That because that would feel good. occurred to me. <laughs> he goes, that someone. That is, someone's going to think of that. occurred to me. Yeah. yeah. So that's horrifying. Oh, my God. That's, that's a clam you buy at the store. Well, but you know what's funny about that? Apparently he had salt on his counter and he saw it go over that. We should have a shellfish race. Listen. Also, is that how they get nutrition? I don't know. No, it doesn't, no it doesn't like the salt, right? I mean, what happened there is he it put salt it. in the thing, and it was like, I'm out of here. It went on the table, and it felt a bunch of salt in the table. It was like, well, fuck, that's even worse. I don't think that's so. That's what happened, right? You, if you put salt on a slug, it kills it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think that's the same kind of slug that gets killed Well, by how salt. different can it be? It's a big fucking muscle. It was muscle. licking salt. It, was, I, it, was it, not, it doesn't have a tongue. It it's wasn't not turning into salt. acid. <laughs> It was like a giant tongue. Do oysters <laughs> doesn't have a tongue? That salt? is a tongue. It's a so clam. The third YouTube comment on that video is, 
oh man, this video, I'm high as fuck. <laughs> 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 Search asshole. I bet someone wrote oh, the man. asshole. Thing. <laughs> I bet they did. I'll bet you right now. I will load up three oh, loads of comments. Oh my like, god! Click, 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 and I'll oh get like four god. pages of comments, and no, <laughs> no so, one has no said one, anything. You're saying that no one. You, I guarantee you, someone has. has said I, that on I guarantee you that someone somewhere has been rimmed by a clam. Oh my god! I'm. I'm going to Google clamrimmers.com. <laughs> I'm going to Google right now. All right, um, I'm looking it up. It, you know, it's so, so it's so easy to be a gay guy. I'm just saying. <laughs> You can have what? animals what? and nature. This. What? 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 Easy. You got it. What the you hell is wrong with you? Easier to be you got to back that comment up with something. Anything. Animals and nature is what he backed it up with. <laughs> How did we go from the claim to that comment? He, he, he made the bridge. I just crossed I didn't, it. I didn't mention gay you shit. You made the bridge. It's not gay. A claim is not gay. Someone who wants to put a moving muscle up their asshole. Really? It's not straight. What's that got to do with gay? Why do you want to see? Why, first of all, why do you see me talking about if, a guy? If anyway. a woman licks your asshole, is that gay? Oh, fuck. I'm <laughs> so back away from this. What was my original? I don't was know. My you can. You went, you went all in with the comment. You like, like, literally getting. took it all. I was like, there we go. Oh, <laughs> it's like, like if I watch that video and he goes, he goes, oh, you know, somebody can put ass salt on their <laughs> asshole. How did you make his comment less <laughs> less offensive? You somehow managed to make that like we we Gavin, you get out of these conversations all the time. Like the time you and I got in the fight on the live podcast, <laughs> where I said that you called me out about live media or whatever or, or cloud saves, oh, yeah. it was fucking him. If you go back and listen to it, Gavin leans up to the mic and he goes, "Well, you like cloud saves, Bernie." And then he leans back, and you and I get in a fucking fight because <laughs> I and know it was what it all does. Him. What, what the I hell just, is wrong? I just light the fuse and step back. Yeah. That I didn't understand. I was so lost. I was like, I just, I was just talking about cloud saves. It was there, him. It was Gavin. There, 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 I mean, this podcast, from the history of its inception and like every conversation, it's all like that. Where yeah. someone will just say like, you know, one thing and it, de it completely deviates. And no one. Yeah, is, like calling out gay dudes. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I'm not apparently calling them out. Part, that's part of the MO. <laughs> I'm calling them out. Oh, <laughs> So Fuck. YouTube was down for like 20 minutes today. I, you know what I loved about that? Especially the monkeys. I, I got to give a shout out to Barbara or whoever did. I assume it was Barbara. That's is smart. I thought as soon as YouTube went down, I thought, oh, we can get here we all, are. We can get we, all that bandwidth. We have, all, we have our own website that's up. I want to make a tweet that, go oh, go to that, our site. And that, Barbara that, had already made that tweet. That, was that, you, that was the best tweet. Good job. That was the best tweet yep. ever. It's a good it was like, oh, YouTube's down. RooshyTeeth.com is still up. I hate that fucking message. I think I've said it before on the podcast. We will dispatch a team of trained monkeys like, to look into this problem. Like just fix the problem. Don't, make a cute, don't give me a fucking cute Don't give error me a cute message. message. Yeah. Although we Awful. have kind of a cute one Fuck. where it says ARG. <laughs> it, oh, it does say that, but it doesn't say anything else. It just says ARG at the title yeah. of the, the, the error. And even that, You don't like, like the cute? You don't like the cute? No. Well, well, like the fail not whale not for, or any we, of that? Not for a multi-billion dollar website. Exactly. Our, people our, don't make money on fail outside. page existed... You know, six years before like Twitter's cute fail what are you page. Saying? Yeah, what are you absolutely. Saying? What I'm saying is people don't rely on our website as an income. Nobody relies on our website. Apart from I us. do. Yeah. You I do. mean, what, what the, the fuck do you think you're doing right I'm now? I'm saying the users don't. So He's it's saying you don't have customers that yeah. are like, oh, haha, here's a funny error message. Meanwhile, you're not getting any revenue oh, okay. for providing content. I had a good point. He did yeah, have a good point. You said it wrong. I didn't say it wrong. Said you said nobody right. makes money from our website. That's what you said. It was, it was a bad way to put one of your brilliant points. Okay. You, that's it's your problem. You're misunderstood. <sighs> muscle. Sometimes you want to say chums. Muscle, sometimes you say. Gay, well, American mom, English mom. is your second language, why? so I can understand the uh, the why, problem. Why, why am I looking this jo up? Joel is googling. What are you googling? Muscle. This is the most embarrassing. I can't even Google this because it'll be in my history forever. Oh, uh, I'm uh, that ship has sailed for this me is, so long ago. I I'm literally have written muscle gay anus. <laughs> <laughs> and that's you. That's your fault. I'm not going to search. What that. are you trying to find with that though? Was that, what's I, the best? I, again, we got to go back and we have to look at the. We need listen. We need one of those court reporters on the podcast yeah. to be able to read. Stop typing. Stop yeah, typing. Kind of people. Yeah, we need that, right? We need a, a court reporter to type out everything that's said, so we have it on. So you can like, you can like refer back to the tape right away. Yeah, right. It would have stopped our argument at the live podcast if there was a creature that was basically the same thing as that clam with a tongue, except it's not a tongue. It came out and it was just a if a, if. if it was a flashlight to scale. Gross. But there was nothing inside it. It was like the opposite of. There was no teeth, but you could do it. See. And it would, it would like, it would suck, and it would feel better than the flashlight. And 
<laughs> they were go say ahead. they were traded for this purpose. Would you get one? <sighs> Safely, no. I would say probably not because flashlights exist, and I don't own a flashlight, so I feel confident saying no. Be like. I got, I got a clam job this weekend. <laughs> I, just, I, would, I couldn't imagine ever saying that. I couldn't imagine that. And I have to admit that, like, some of the stupid peep stuff that people have done at a younger age with, like, stuff like that, I just well, haven't wait, done yeah. stuff like that. What? Yeah, but, like, when you talk about putting salt on your, your asshole. I didn't put salt on my asshole. <laughs> Why would you put salt on I your didn't. But you did come up with that idea. Yeah, I'm very saying, quickly. I'm saying someone saw that video and then did that. That somebody was you. You saw, you saw it and do that. you thought of that. You immediately thought I'm about that. I'm thinking of what an internet person would do. No, that's just a way of displacing you, There's got to be thoughts. some kind of bad health thing about putting salt in your ass. Well, it sounds good for you, isn't it? Not too much. <sighs> well, okay, Gavin, okay. really? In my, what? You think, you, I mean, if you, like, would you eat a bowl, bowl of salt and that would be a good thing to do? <laughs> Everything in moderation. <laughs> like salt on your ass. <laughs> well, it's not like booze. Is it, yeah, is it just gonna... fuck clams in moderation. That's does all it, we're <laughs> Does salt absorb into your blood like alcohol does? Uh, like it's, it's not going to be one of those things I, where I, it, I have no idea. It gets you saltier because it went in your ass and not your mouth. I think from everything I've studied, I would think well, that I'm going to say salt would throw off like, your, like, your nervous have, system. Listen, if anything. there's right. an old yeah. statement. It says, do not put salt on a wound. I'm going to go by that <laughs> sort of <laughs> general guide. So you're saying your asshole is a wound. sensitive <laughs> nice catch. on my body, I'm going to treat it as such. I'm not going to introduce any particular potentially sensitive part of my body mm. to anything... I'm not putting salt on my eardrum. I'm not yeah. putting it in my sinus. I'm not putting it on my asshole. It's true. I mean, you got to be. People always die from that kind of thing. We had a conversation. Like the uh, the vodka you, soaked you, tampons. You you yeah. ha like when you first what? came over, when you first came over and we were downtown, you had read an article on the internet about some guy that had, um, I guess, shaved off all of his ass hair, <laughs> and it was this long paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> about I like how read it out loud, didn't miserable yeah. that experience was, and how, and how he's kind of a big dude, and because it was so, there was no, there was he, he farted one and it got trapped <laughs> in his ball, in his bum cheeks. What does that mean? You, you painted trapped. that one picture about like the starfish. Yeah. Uh, Th this this uh, paragraph. Y'all are having like half a conversation. Uh, you're talking in code. I don't know what the this fuck paragraph. Is going if on. you can read it, if Connect you just Google, dots. just Connect Google, don't shave that hair. And that will be the paragraph. It's about a dude who's kind of big who shaved his gooch, and it's just it's one of the funniest things I've ever read. Just it's pretty it's a guy funny. talking there's about a reason in nature for everything. <laughs> yeah, that is, a reason, is a good point. Like there's a reason don't nature shave why we don't about have to put salt. Having over. a clam lick your asshole, <laughs> but shaving your gooch? No. No, no, no. Well, look it up. Look it up. Yeah, look We're it not up. talking about that. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Have you ever shaved your gooch? No. Max? Well, there you go. You don't, you don't, you don't like. Uh, you don't I've never like... had a clam lick my asshole either. We <laughs> talked about that. Have you ever salted your asshole in anticipation <laughs> of having a clam? All right, <laughs> we're out of time, you fucking idiots. Let me ask you a question a would you rather question. So he was talking about the Google search history stuff. Would you rather post a full frontally nude photo of yourself on the internet or make your Google search history publicly available? Nude. Just the nude. Search history. That is a really interesting question. That's a, what, what, what would you? What would I you? would go with the nude <laughs> in a heartbeat. Why I would not so want people walking through my Google search. We search. look up fucked up stuff we here look for up work all the time. Uh, all the and time. there's no context no, on well, it. That, that's the thing. I mean, yeah. And then we also filter what we talk about. Yeah. So there's stuff in my search history that's just there's way nude. worse. Nude. I will show everyone my dick rather than show my search history. Well, you've, almost, you've come close. Yeah. You've already done it. If, I mean, if, here's the thing. If you could look at your significant other's search history, would you do it? Like their full search history. No, nah. that's a no. great question. Everyone I, needs I privacy. Would. Everybody needs privacy. Yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. Well, and it's that. also like, but out of curiosity, yeah, it's also like if you if you see that you develop like an idea of what that person is, but that person is not their search history. It's yeah. almost like a track, like a log of your mental Exa train of thought. Exactly, and it's not yeah. who you are. You can no. piece if if they're all together within like twenty minutes. You can see why someone went from one to the other sometimes. It might be better to see the whole because then you go from like Gives oh a context. clam to anus yeah. and a this might be a good thing to transition. Do for like versus we both start at the top of our search history and start reading down until somebody <laughs> gets to something that they won't read. That is an amazing idea for a video. That is a, that's a poker game right I'm there. I'm even gonna try this real quick. I'm gonna see on mine. That'd be awesome. Quick. And you on your phone, Gavin? Get so yours out. It, it, you, you can get arrested for for googling some things, right? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. No, I don't think he's arrested for it. But we're not use, we're not living in Russia yet. So I Google child pornography, and that's fine. Because Google filters it. Listen, 
Right. So Listen, you end up just reading whatever. About it. Right. We if we get to the you point where somebody gets arrested article. over their Google search, we're not in America anymore. Where's my search history on a? Uh, I mean, where's my search history on a? Uh, well, they track Joel. They track like uh, books that people check out from the library. That's the way they used to do that. Right, but that's evidence. You wouldn't well, get arrested for, for, for kitty porn. Right. Oh, yeah. I guess not. All right. Well, where's search history on iOS seven? Where is it? it used yeah, to be, you have to go. I don't know. I used to just tap the search thing and it would to the bookmarks menu. All right. All right. Sorry. We're at time. I love we're you. We're gonna guys. wrap up. So uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us this evening. Thanks, guys. I think hey. we had a very spirited podcast. Thanks to everyone who's been giving oh. us lots of positive feedback about Gauntlet season two. One, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's been one really more thing. Great. Sign up for our newsletter. We have some big news coming out soon. Some specials yep. uh, on the store and for the website. Keep up with our news. Go to roosterteeth.com slash subscribe. And uh, you can sign up for our newsletter, ah! roosterteeth.com slash <laughs> subscribe. Oh, and man. keep up with Get all the, the latest news. No idea what's happening. Get the salt. Bye. Get Bye. The salt.